Okay, recording has started. Play. I have no idea how the sound is. Tink. Tink. Well, he shot it. Welcome to Sherwood Forest. What is your pleasure? Uh, introduction, I guess. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Hey, Reedy. Yeah, dude, my cursor was ginormous. <clears throat> hey, True North. Did Sierra do space quest? I don't remember. Probably, they did everything. Okay, I thought the intro would be like an intro to the story. <laughs> Alright, it probably is. Not intro credits. Man, back in the day when there was only one game designer. And like one programmer. They did do Space Quest. They didn't do Half Life. You never know. There's so many Kens. How many Kens made this game? Oh, I got my cursor. My giant hand. Did I click? Oh no, it's gone. In the year of our most gracious lord. Elven hundred and ninety-three. Good King Richard the Lionheart sailed across the sea. The infidels he had besieged, but Jerusalem was lost. Bloody was the third crusade, dearly did it cost. Long and dangerous was the road, enemies on all sides. Hidden by the night he rode, cloaked in merchant's guides. But in the realm of Austria, King Leopold did reign. He swore to capture Lionheart, or else to have him slain. Oh, they're blue. Is that a giant dog? I think that was a horse. <laughs> I think it was a horse. Mighty oaths did Richard swear at his or at this base treachery. They bound him like a roaring lion to face his enemy. That doesn't rhyme. King Leopold was filled with glee to have so rich a prize. His laughter filled with, filled the stony hall, his greed rose to the skies. One hundred thousand golden marks on Richard's head he laid. I got a walking person. And Lionheart his prisoner until the ransom paid. I have no fear, King Richard said, my people love me well. Raise the ransom that you ask, and damn your soul to hell. Damn, dude. That's rude. 
And when in England Prince John heard of his brother's golden fee, he swore a dark unholy oath that he would ne'er go free. So the days have sorely passed and Lionheart does wait. as Black Prince John and traitorous dogs conspire to seal his fate. While Robin Hood in green Sherwood an outlaw's life does lead. Falsely charged by men corrupt to satisfy their greed. At your side, companions true, little John is one. <laughs> what is going on with his face? Alan Adale, Trobador, and much the miller's son. Hey, flute spine. Will Scarlet with his good you bow? Friar Tuck to pray, amen. Bold Robin Hood to lead them all, and so we shall begin. We got a party of six. Ransom 300, Outlaws 31, score 0 out of 3, or 7, 3, 2, 5. Uh, first thing, how do I save? Okay, that, that's walk. Okay, that's look. Look at the fire. It is kind of Tuck to see that my fire is kept lit and my cave warm. Thank you, Tuck. Let's uh, grab the fire. <laughs> uh, talk. We can shoot. Shoot the fire. I have no need to shoot that. Ooh, I'm glad there's a shoot button. I'm carrying nothing. Oh, jeez. Detail. Full. I think my computer can handle full detail. Arcade. What? How much... <laughs> there's an arcade slider. How much arcade would you like? Okay. One. Save. Show low detail. I don't see a difference. <laughs> what is that button? You were playing Conquest of the Longbow version 1.000? Oh, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's like... Okay. Sorry, I shouldn't have clicked that. Okay, what am I doing? Play. Walk. Okay, what is that? This chest contains my own small store of money. Whatever else I gain from lightening the overfilled purse of a rich man is turned over to Friar Tuck, who serves as our trusted treasurer. Okay. Might need to press the turbo button on my PC. I think it can handle it. Tis my own horn. Okay, take your horn, because it's yours. Take, do you, you probably want to leave the money here, right? I'll count my money as I empty the chest. There's something about s silver in a purse that makes a day seem brighter. Oh, wait. Did we get something? Oops, no, no, no. no. We got a hundred score. Oh, there we go. We have our horn. With this horn, I can summon my men in time of need, okay? Five pennies, 19 ha pennies, <laughs> 26 farthings. Sure, I recognize one of those words. Okay. Anything else we can grab here? Doesn't look like it. We can look at our bed. I've made a bed of lashed wood and leather with a fur covering for cold nights. All right. Oh, oh. Apparently my computer cannot handle it. <laughs> I 
loading. It's it's just it's got to load. It's a it's a very demanding game. There we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Morning. We've all broken our fasts, but mayhap Tuck will share some of his fish upon you. From the gaunt and starving look of our good friar, I fear you'll be left begging. I'll remember that tribe, or what, that gibe, when it comes time to dole out the stew tonight. Mercy on me, Tuck, or I'll be too weak to play your favorite tunes. Is the sound okay so far? You know the old Norman saying, Alan, never make an enemy of the cook. I can see there's no point in hanging, hanging about here and listening to these two prattle. I'll be in the glade practicing. Alright. What of you, little John? I thought I'd head to the Overlook and see if anyone of interest comes along wailing. Or wait. Comes along Watling Street. Tuck says our treasury could use a boosting. Is that true? Sorry to say it is, Robin. We're down to but a few hundred marks. Well, I'm off then. Join me there if you have a mind to. Okay. So he's going to... Watling Street? Our bard. A lad of lively wit and golden voice. Eek. Pardon me, I'm just working on a song in honor to... In honor of Tuck's fine cooking, and I need to concentrate. We must hope for a rich abbot or greedy baron to come along and replenish our treasury. Then you'd better spend some of... What? Then you'd better spend some time on the Overlook watching the road, for you know John will tire of it soon enough. Okay. I'm not sure where the map exits are. Like, I guess there's one over here. Really wish he would walk a little faster. Um, is it loading? Oh, there we go. I was like one pixel off. <laughs> there was a speed slider, I did see that. I mean, it's at like 70%. Oh my god. <laughs> That was, that was way faster than I was expecting. Wait, how slow is this then? This is like... Oh my god. Okay, we want it like right there. Okay, now, now that sort of looks like a normal... I don't know what that was. Sort of like a normal walking speed. Also, I have this. I clicked it. Oh, it's a map. <clears throat> Nottinghamshire. I don't know where I am. There's a fire there. I guess I'm at the fire? At our camp? Well, I'm going there. Yes, okay, so that's... That's our fire. Oh. Wasted no time devouring that fish, I see. I find that a full belly greatly improves the magnitude of my prayers and gives me one more thing to give thanks for. Alright. And I think we were just at the forest when we went to the left. Smack him for a magic refill? I don't know, it's just something flew by. This is not where we were. Is that something, or is that just dirt? It's just dirt. This is the most ancient and sacred oak of the forest. Like, if I walk here, is this a new... new area of the forest? Yeah. I don't think the map shows where I am. I also don't know how to leave. I can look. 
My hidden camp, the Widow, dwells here. Near the River Trent is the Sacred Willow Grove. The town, Monastery of the Fens. Upon this shield is the device of Sheriff of Nottingham, a raven. Okay. There's a lion. It's like, how do I leave? I guess once you're in the map, you gotta go somewhere. This, no, this escape won't work. Backspace? No. Let's just, let's just randomly go places. Oh, hello. Ah, it's the good widow and her three fine sons, Hal, Hob, and Dickon. Mother, it's Robin Hood. Good day to you. It's good to see you again. If that tuck sent you to bother about the wool. Nay, he said nothing about it. Good. I told him I would have it soon enough. We're going to town today. Master, if there's anything you need. I think not today, lads. But be careful. If the sheriff ever suspects you of helping the outlaws of Sherwood. Ah, uh, he'll never catch us. We'll listen around and hear all kinds of things. Dickon, you heard the man. He's wiser than you. Aw, mum. Don't worry. We'll keep the whelp under control. Fear not, Dickon. If ever I need a spy, I'll think of you. Okay, he's our spy. There's a sheep. Sorry. A mean-looking old ewe. Obviously not a sheep. Um, can I go in your house? <clears throat> I can, oh, I think it's working. No, it's not. Is it? I, that's not her house, probably. Dick in the spy, little loot. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, they're gone now. They went to town. Is there something else you wanted? Nay, I simply take pleasure in watching your skill with the wheel. Okay. Let's try one more time to go in the house. Seems impossible. Like, should I just be wandering through the forest? I'm scared. <laughs> that tree kind of stands out. What are you? Oh, tis a druid tree. If I travel north, what? I'll reach a grove. Okay, let's let's go north. Um, let's go north. <laughs> oh, it's a little little laggy. I don't think... <laughs> now I can't see myself. Okay, I guess I went north. This is why I didn't want to go in the forest, because now... Now I'm lost. Can I keep going north? I guess so. <laughs> Outlaws 31. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I'm lost. Take me back to the camp. Let's go to the right. Hey, Wyke. I think he's going... No, 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 not, not in the cave. So it's a little little hard to uh, get him to go where I want. There we go. Oh, it's back in the forest. I thought one of my friends walked this way. So let's just go on an adventure. What what are these? What are these plants? That that's them. 
That's all the info I'm getting. Can I pick? Actually, the bushes are full of thorns and the berries are not quite ripe. Okay. Obviously. I knew that. Okay, two, you can't go that way. All right. Can you go down? Are these ripe? No. <laughs> I want to shoot someone. What do I have again? My horn. I could use my horn back at the camp. But we have more to explore. Let's go back here. Go this way. No, it's just <laughs> it's just more forest. I don't know what I was expecting. Go to the town. Castle, pub, cobbler, St. Mary's. Go to the pub. It's the first thing when you what you do when you get in town. You go to the inn. You get a room. In every RPG game. First thing you do. Are you going? Yes. Look, an outlaw! Oh, are we gonna get wrecked? I just skipped that. <laughs> Please, I'm trying to shoot. What? Pub's a popular place for the sheriff's men to go. Even a drunk soldier would recognize such a famous outlaw walking into their midst. I think I died. Perhaps Robin was overcome with the need for an ale and thought the pub might be empty. <laughs> a shame, for he will never get one. Before they hung him, seems like a waste. Seems a waste to die for a drop of grog. To Robin Hood, let's raise a toast and hope there's a good ale amongst the heavenly host. Oh my god. I mean, I don't think I have any saves. Like, I mean, I had a save, but I think it was before we literally did anything. Hello, fear. Okay, so this is the start of the game again. <laughs> we'll grab the horn. We'll grab the silver, or the money. Tink. Um... You'll eventually get out there. I might turn the speed up one more. <laughs> okay, they're gonna talk to us. So he went to practice. The other guy goes left. Okay, let's save here. I think the speed reset. Put it there. I'll put it one more. Yeah, just, just save over that. Okay, hold on. So if we go... I, okay, actually, hold on. I have to see what happens. I have to see what happens. Okay, yeah, he devoured the fish. Shoot my own man, that would be madness. Okay. <laughs> so I... Th if, uh, can we go anywhere in the town without getting seen? 
eating Ritz crackers? Like, what if we went to the cobbler? Are we gonna get seen? <laughs> I dare not set foot inside the town walls dressed as an outlaw. Okay, so we have to change... I mean, he went into the pub, though. Yeah, okay. Maybe he went in because we did that other scene with the widow. So we can't go in there with what we're currently wearing. Let's go to the widow's house. Hal, Hob, and Dickin. So they're going into the town. Can I talk to them before they leave? I'm not afraid of no sheriff's men. They'll grab me, Al. Or if they'll grab me, Al. Aw, Mum. The merchants say the Saturday fair coming will be the biggest fair yet. I have a mind to have a word or two with that friar of yours. He's rather fond of food for a holy man. Indeed, his girth is nearly the match of his piety. Okay. So if I leave... I go back. I think they leave for the town. Yeah, so they're gone now. Let's go to... What is that again? The Monastery in the Fens. Sure. Well... We're actually on the cliff next to the Monastery. Can you just... can you go down there? <laughs> Wait, is that in, it's in water? Is that underwater? Is that the water temple? It really is Legend of Zelda. Look at it. The Normans built well. It would take a mighty army and a long siege to overcome such a place. The fog grows even thicker. Okay, it would be it would easy be easy to become lost. I'm gonna just shoot it. Just shoot the fog. Let's see, are you gonna walk over there? One hundred out of like, I think that's a three, like seven seventy three hundred, but it does kind of look like a nine. Um, okay, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna go to camp. I'm gonna try my horn. Oh, everyone's gone. It feels smooth and warm from much use. Can you use it? I can summon my men in time of need. Oh, doing something. There we go. What is it, Robin? I see no danger. Sorry, Will. I wanted to test the horn. <laughs> I don't mind keeping an eye and ear open for you, Robin, but don't wear me out for nothing. Sorry. Oops. Oh. Oh. That's just to use whatever item we have. It's like if I did that. Now the coin is up there. Interesting. What am I what am I doing? What am I trying to do right now? <laughs> did we ever go to this place? No, we didn't. There's nothing. The Willows 
form a living green temple. I, here I am. The points are giving me like Gabriel Knight flashbacks. <laughs> can you can you pick these? Not not ripe enough. Okay. Sure. I guess I'll just walk around. The only thing I think we need to do right now is like get different clothes. Oh, can we pick these? Those look pretty ripe. No? Oh, they're not ripe enough. Oh, that's because I clicked on the bottom one. Okay. You know what? Give me... Speed is locked because he's moving. <clears throat> Give me more speed. One below max. Or you know what? <laughs> go, go all the way. That's like, that's a little ridiculous. One below. That's fine. I, I have no idea where I'm going. Okay. Can you can you pick those? There's nothing I need to take from the druid tree. Of course. Okay, maybe I have different clothes in my camp that I missed. Is that something, or is that a rock? That's, that's a boulder. I'm already stuck. We've literally done nothing. Actually, maybe I can go to other places of the town. We're gonna be seen, though. Like, can I use the bed? I don't see a change of clothes here. Let's just try. <laughs> Let's try going to St. Mary's. No. We can go to everywhere, or we can't go to anywhere but the pub. We don't want to go in the pub, because we'll die. So like, what if I... That just leaves. Oh, it's because I not... Oh no. I thought maybe it was because I didn't click on the banner. Hey, Kragen. Can I go up the stairs? <laughs> you, you, you can do it. No, he just leaves. Okay, we can't go into town. Let's check here one more time. see anything here. Well. Oh, I can just... I don't have to click on one of the circles. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> so I can just... Oops. I can just click anywhere. Oh, 
How far north can I go? Oh, I think I was... Okay. <laughs> That's as far north as I can go. What if I... Go to this crossroads. The T intersection. I can't. What if I go to the bridge? No? No bridge? Oh, that's the town. What if I just go randomly up there? It's just a random forest map. Let's go on the road. Wait, wasn't uh, the dude watching the road here? Is this a uh, Watling Street? The west lies the eldest oak, all the forest. Wait, is that something? That yellow thing? Is that a lemon? Oh, Watling Street continues north to York. The south lies Nottingham. So this is Watling Street. Oh. There's a, there's a lemon. I might need to look at a guide already. I mean, there's a lot of places we haven't explored, but there's so many just random forest maps. I'm just gonna keep following the path south. Oh. Okay. I've gotten 100 points from the two items I've picked up, 50 points each. I play games with guides, HPL. I dare you to play these without any guides. Go to the river. Can't. Shoot the... the U. The U. Whatever it's called. Speak with it. There's no answer. Is there something else you wanted? No. Can I seriously not go in the house? What if, what if I use the door? I would not be so bold as to enter without being invited. Hold on, what if... Do I give you money? We're doing well enough. Save your coins for those who truly need them. Oh. What if I went into the pub and used my horn? Would I be able to use it? It's worth a try. What if I just killed everyone in the pub? They might not give me time to use it, but I'm gonna try. Look, an outlaw. Seize him. Horn. I do not wind my horn here. Oh. Okay, in that case, I... I lost. I wanted to try shooting. 
Because I, I do have time to use an item. I guess we have to... Do this again. I thought I saved after all this, but I didn't. Okay, so those guys should have left. Save. Two. Okay, who do I shoot? Middle, left, or right? Middle. I have no need to shoot that. Yes, you do. You have a... They're trying to kill you. <laughs> okay. We can do that. here. We've already, yeah, we've already seen that. Can I talk to you again? We must hope. I already, okay, we already saw that. I'm, I'm not sure. I've made zero progress in 45 minutes. <laughs> or more like half an hour. Shoot it. That worked? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Rootless fleshing vermin, how dare you treat me like some common tree. I died. Sink deep roots, drink of sun and rain, and never be a man again. I died. Well, at least something happened. Okay. Can I go somewhere else? Oh, if I click out outside of the town, it just goes to the overworld. Okay, we'll go back here. Let's try. Let's try shooting you. Wait, does that mean I can just talk to the tree instead of like? Apparently, the tree is. A, a dude? I guess I can just talk? I cannot think of what to say to an oak tree. <laughs> I, okay, I can't talk. What if I just go down? I find the river. No, he can't go down anymore. Well. What a game. Like, whatever I have to do, it must... It can't be far from our camp, right? Can't be far from the camp. Is that something on the table? No. Shoot him. There's a shooting glade nearby for practice. Okay, and the guy who went to said he'd go to the glade went up here, right? 
Oh, it's a little laggy. Okay, so the glade is somewhere over here. But how do I how do I get there from here? <laughs> I think this is a dead end. Okay, go down then. Okay. <laughs> We're back here. Hmm. Can you go, can you just walk across the... Oh. What if I go this way? Why you, you turned around? Are oh, you going that way? I guess I'm just gonna walk around until something happens. We found the road. So we're like we're like right up here. So once I go to the map, I can't click, can't click out of it. <laughs> I have to go somewhere. Hey, Tutti Fruity. Okay, you know what? What did I just do? Uh, I'm, I'm checking a guide. <laughs> I've made no progress. I just need to, like, just, just one, just the very first step of the game. I need to see what to do. Once we get going, it should be fine. Okay, go one north. After the cutscene at the camp, go one north. It, it is like... Okay, how do I go north? There's a river. Okay, he's going. You can go across the river there. And then the guide said, there's a pixie here you can shoot. I don't see a pixie. I think it's that thing I saw at the very beginning, but I didn't know what it was and I just let it leave. <laughs> okay, you know what, okay. We're going to restart. <laughs> okay. Grab the horn. Grab the money.
We're, we're already back to uh, where we were. I think we're going slow again. So he went to the glade. This guy's going to the road. Okay, so we go one north. And there's a thing we have to shoot. That's all I saw. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't see a pixie. I don't see no pixie. I, I did see one like right near the start of the stream. But it got away, and I thought I thought it was like this, this way. Like it was here, wasn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I definitely saw one. Is my game broken? There's no way. I just restarted. Hey, duck. I don't, I don't see a pixie. It says leave the cave. After the cutscene, go north. Once. Shoot an arrow at the forest pixie. Oh, oh! No! Get it! No! <laughs> oh, it's too fast. I turned the speed slider up too much. <laughs> wait, wait. I just had to wait. Okay. Hey, Thorn. Let's, let's leave. I don't know if this actually... Like, I assume it's not going to be gone forever, right? Unless, is it still in the bush? No. Okay, get ready. I hope it's not gone forever. It's so fast. <laughs> Once, once we see it the next time, I'm, I'm turning the speed down. <laughs> go up, go up. Okay. Get the bow ready. This game seems good. <laughs> Just wait. The 
Okay, there it is. It's right on the on the right. So we go here. We go speed. To the bottom. It's what? I got it. It's still so fast. Oh, it turned into loot. Okay, we'll turn it back up. <laughs> it didn't even change the speed of the pixie. Let's do a save. Okay. Um, odds blood. The forest has grown gigantic. I'm small now. And I lost my bow. I'm also very fast. <laughs> I don't have an inventory either. <laughs> what? Oh. I'm normal again. Haloa, Masterhood, a glorious day for the bow. I've set the garlands for practice. Come and join us. This new land here is Simon. This new lad here is Simon, and he has yet to see a sample of your skills. Well, we found them. Alright, let's go for the farthest... Farthest one. Oh my god. <laughs> There's actual aiming. <laughs> um, he thinks this would be a good day to wager against you. Your shooting is terrible. Okay, we have to shoot a bit higher. Where's my... Where's my... Uh, do I have to, how do I reload? How do I reload? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we want to aim like right there. <sighs> Not even close. There we go, you have to click on the hand to reload. Oh! Come on. <laughs> I'm painting it or painting around it. Hold fast, Robin, while I collect the arrows. Okay. <sighs> there we go. No, no cutscene? I guess you want me to shoot all of them? That one's perfect. I can't wait till we get into actual combat. It's gonna be horrible. How many times do we, do we gotta do this? Leave. Keep shooting if you like. We've finished our practicing for the day. Tell me what brings you to the forest, young Simon. I shot a rabbit and took it to my family for dinner. I was going to make a pouch from the skin, but a forester saw it drying and saw the mark of the arrow in it. He wanted a bribe to pretend he didn't notice. But I was so angry I knocked him down. I was declared an outlaw the very same day, and my father bade me come to you and serve you. It was your father's idea? Nay, it was mine. I would, I would have come at once, but I was afraid for my family. I wouldn't leave until my father ordered me to go. Well, we are... I, a couple of men, are keeping an eye upon the lad's parents. Good. 
then I make you welcome, Simon. If you can spear a rabbit with an arrow, you'll be a useful man indeed. I'll try, sir. Truly, I will. Okay. Look at the flag. A bit of cloth tied to the tree tells how strongly the wind blows and from which direction. There's wind mechanics. <laughs> Hold on. We need to. I, I want to practice with the wind. Oh. Okay, sorry, I'm skipping it all. I was expecting a very short conversation. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Leave it be, Robin, you're as fussy as a mother hen. Oh, sorry. They were arguing, though. Is that how you shoot? Yes. Okay, wait, so the f wind is coming towards me right now, I think? So I just want to shoot... A little up. What? That was like almost perfect. Oh, the wind just changed on me. Okay. So now we want to go like right there. Okay. Why is this so involved? Let's do another save. Okay, well, we uh, got Simon, I guess. Thanks to the Blessed Virgin, the spites, Sprite's spell has worn off. The forest has shrunk to normal size. Not, not sure what the point of that was, <laughs> but we did it. Horn? Yeah, the forest, the forest changed, not him. Shrunk to normal size. Okay, we already, yeah, we already did that. We need to go find this guy, though. We found our friend who was practicing, but this guy... He went to the road, he said. You know what, let's just put the speed up to max. <laughs> oh, sorry. Put it all the way up. I don't have time to watch him <laughs> run across the screens. <laughs> oh, this is new. There he is. Glad you decided to come. I saw a sheriff's man head up the road a while back. But I have a mind to go around to the widow's cottage and say hello to her sons before they leave for Nottingham again. You might want to stay and watch for the fellow to return in case he's up to mischief. Thanks for the warning. Mayhap I'll stop by and see the widow myself later on. She'd like that. So would the boys. Until later. So we want to wait here? Okay. I'm waiting. Oh. The peasant woman looks frightened. He's being pursued by one of the sheriff's men. Shoot him. Shoot him! Master archer though I am, they're both moving and I might strike the wrong target. I'd best... okay. Um... Uh... Do we want a horn? I'm just walking down there, I guess.
Stand fast. Aroint, move aside, I say, in the name of the Sheriff of Nottingham. Nay, please, I've done nothing wrong. Don't let him take me, please. Release the woman. She's my prisoner. Step aside, I say. Shoot him. Oh, here we go. Got him. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, wait. Oh, bless you. Bless you, sir. To whom I owe my salvation. You've surely heard the name of Robin Hood. Robin Hood? It is true what they say of you. I shall be forever grateful. Oh, now we horn. After the danger's gone. What shall, what shall we do with this worthless carrion? I care not. Drag him away for the wolves and ravens. I think we just did, like, the intro of the game an hour late than I should have. <laughs> Bless you and all your men. I must go now. I feel like we should have done that hours ago. Okay. She hurries down Watling Street as fast as her feet can carry her. Seems like a good... Good save. We have 200 points. Save. Okay. Let's go back to the camp. No one's here. And what is this? That's here. Oh wait, no, we want to go to the Widow's house. Okay, yeah, we've already seen this like four times. <laughs> D5 jam. So they left. I don't know why it's black. Oh, each night after supper, as is our custom, we gather to speak the day's events. Oh, I finished the first day. Should I click? Oh. Fill my mug again, Tuck. As you wish, but what ails you? I've never seen you so deep in your cups. Why, tis the ale that ails him, but ails well that ends well. And... Stop blithering, Alan. I too wonder what troubles you, Robin. A strange melancholy came upon me tonight, unbidden. Perhaps an enemy has cast a spell on you. Shrive him, Tuck, quickly, in case he should die in his sleep. Fie, Will Scarlet. Can't you find a way to cheer a man rather than frighten him? I know full well the nature of this melancholy, for we all feel it from time to time. Tis that we're outlaws, forced away from kith and kin, living as we can in the forest. Knowing death waits me in an arrow's flight, or worse yet, a rope's bite. A short life, but a merry one, that's the way of it. Aye, but don't you dream of living as free men, able to walk in town without fear, to love a woman knowing you could stay beyond morn? Ah, there's the nub of the matter. You need a good woman, Robin. I know this lass with huge tracts of land. Alan, you, you, you said I could meet her. Then I drink to your good fortune much, as for me. Is his name Much or Muck? I'm off to bed. Now less, which way is it? Nope, oh, he passed out. Good night, lads. I'll assist Master Hood to his bed and see you on the morrow. Use a period authentic accent. <laughs> Tisk for a shame, Robin. Already deep in drunken slumber. Well, it's not my job to play nursemaid. 
I've delivered you to bed, and that's the end of it. Cast adrift, floating, a song, a song upon the wind, wind that rustles through leaves, calling me onward into a heart of green. A woman, as graceful as the willows which surround her, swaying to the music in the wind. Amazing. He's dancing, swaying. <laughs> She's still dancing. Oh, there's me. Poof. She's gone, but there's something here. A glittering green stone where she stood. The willows, I hear them whisper her name. Marion, Marion. Come back, Marion, come back to me. I'm not following the guide, no. How my head aches by the blessed lady. I swear I'll never seek to drown my melancholy in cup again. My poor back, I must speak to little John about leaving me to lie on my quiver all night. But that dream, that woman. And what is this clenched in my own hand? It's the emerald. The emerald. Now I can see its shape. Half a heart. Maybe I still dream. Nay, not with this pounding in my head. I must be well and truly awake. Somehow I must find this Marion and learn the meaning of the emerald. Aye, and see if she is as beautiful as I dreamed. The guy didn't even seem to do anything. It told me to go to the... <laughs> shoot the pixie. I don't know what the point of that was. Six. Hundo guide. <laughs> okay, we, so we have to go where we saw in our dream. I assume, and I know where that is. Ah, so you live after all. Morning is nearly gone, and we'd about given you up for dead. For all the tender care you showed me last night, I might well have been. You look a bit worse for wear, but you have an odd, odd light in your eyes. I had a dream, Tuck. Not to wonder, inspired by such mighty droughts of grog as you consumed. Let him tell it, Alan. Do your ears never tire of your wagging ton tongue? There was a woman with raven hair and a dress that moved like a white flame. I've never seen such a beautiful maid. Why, I've dreams like that all the time. Did I tell you the one I had about the three red-haired girls who... Hush, Alan. There's no jest to me. This is no jest to me. She danced in a willow grove, then she disappeared. The willows whispered the name Marion. Where she had stood, I saw an emerald. I bent to pick it up, and I awoke. That's a pretty that's a pretty enough dream. But what of it, Robin? It's only a dream. Then explain you this. My hand. By my troth, a real emerald. What do you say now? I say you should have more dreams like this and we'll all be rich. This dream has come to me for a purpose. I'll meet this maiden today, I'm sure of it. Robin, I'm glad you're finally up. I've just gotten an urgent message from a friend in town. There's a man who's helped us many times with information, a cobbler by the name of Lob. He sent word that he must speak to you, and he wishes you to seek him out in Nottingham. Let him come to the forest if the matter's so urgent. I know of this Lob. He's a good man. If he asks you to come to him, there must be a reason, but that's not all. First, he said it concerns the fate of King Richard. What does he mean? If he has news of our king... I only know what my friend told me. And secondly, that Lob demands you bring a lady's slipper to prove your identity. A lady's slipper? What an odd request. Why, there's nothing to it, Robin. Have a few more grogs and dream one up. 
Will John, would you take him yon would you take yonder pup and dunk him in the stream for me? Surely, master. Nay, nay, I'll desist, I give my word. What do you advise, Will? That you go to this lob as he asks. But even if Robin had his slipper, he cannot walk into Nottingham without being hanged upon the spot. Na na nay the what? Nathless, I must find a way. Let me think upon it. As you will, master. We all have tasks of our own, but we'll think upon it as well. All these words. These old words. <laughs> can, you guys, can you guys walk a little faster? Can you turn your speed slider up? Okay. Hold on. We gotta check this out. Such is the power of this grove, I feel compelled to lay down my weapons before I enter. Okay. Um, what if I take the emerald? Use it. I already have it. <laughs> hmm. Talk. Just yell for Marion. Okay. So we need a slipper. Maybe you have a slipper. Good day, Robin. The boys are in town if you're looking for them. I must... okay. I have a slipper? I <laughs> have one of your slippers? Can I sneak in her house now? Because I'm so desperate for a slipper? That's not her house, dude. Do, 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 do. That's not her house. <laughs> I don't think I can. Okay, no, I can't. Okay. What if I bribe her with money? No. You want to look at this? That's the most precious... Th Precious thing you could ever possess, Robin. Okay. Hmm. Nothing going on there. So I can't go in there. Oh. Yeah. I can only go here. talk to you now? I cannot think of what to say to a tree. Come on, you can do it. Anyone? No one's practicing. Use it. <laughs> He's just gonna say the same thing, isn't he? I see no danger. Okay. Doot, doot, doot. Hmm. 
think we gotta do something here, right? It just, it makes sense. This is from our dream. What if we use the horn here? No, he doesn't want to shatter the silence. I wonder if I leave, will he pick up his stuff? Or is it just gonna lay there forever now? Oh, he got it. Like, what if I show you the emeralds? It has no effect upon the... the oak tree. Okay. What if it, like, gets rid of the fog around you? <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, but it's a magical emerald, so... Like, what if I... what if I just give it to the fog? Cool. Oh. The screen actually scrolled, instead of... What the heck? There's a thicket and a marshy ground up ahead. I'll have to turn back. Okay. going down. Hmm. Died again, maybe? <laughs> Nothing's going on here. Like, where did my friends say they were going? Did they even say? What if I just random, like, can I just randomly call you from here? I see nothing amiss. You're as bad as a child with a toy. Oh. Fine. Go down here. What if it stops working? I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, they're gonna... <laughs> they're just not gonna show up when the real danger happens. Oh, we found the edge. I'm pretty sure these plants mean it's like the edge of the uh, map.
No, I can't go up. Oh, yes, I... No? What? I was just there. If I use the horn... The tree... The tree... What? I made a bubble! <laughs> if you've called me again for no good reason... Fine, just as I thought, playing with your bloody horn again. He's... He's not happy with me. Look. Touch it. Don't want to shoot it. I don't know what to do. I thought we would have to, like, I, I was so sure we go down here and do something. Because, like, this is. This is from our dream. We can't go to the cobbler until we have a. slipper. <laughs> Maybe the pub. Is actually not. Like, maybe it's empty for some reason? Maybe I can go in the pub? Definitely not empty. How? Okay. I'm looking at the guide. Uh. Apparently, we could have given the lady that we saved. We could have given her some money, and I didn't. Oops. Wait. What? I'm an idiot. I mean, not really. It's not obvious. <laughs> but I can go... <laughs> I can go into the trees. I thought this was a dead end, but I can apparently just walk north. No? Oh. Wait, what? What is happening? <laughs> help me, help! Tis her, the woman I dreamt of. Shoot him! Got him. <laughs> Thank you, bold outlaw. Another boon I would ask of you. Can I have your slipper, please? It's not a weird thing, I promise. You have but to name it. I must find your leader, the one called Robin Hood. You need to seek no further, I am Robin Hood. Then you are all I had hoped, for, hoped you would be. And what is it you had hoped? I came to see and judge you, for, my, for I must decide if you are a man we can trust. This slipper is your first reward. Oh, how convenient. And there may be other rewards if you are wise enough to earn them. <laughs> what kind of reward is a slipper? Now I must go. Wait, stay and speak with me, a whiles. I dare not. My enemies must have seen me enter the forest. I must go. Thank you again for my life. What a strange reward. We'll meet again, my lovely Marion, for I've many a sweet reward in mind. Oh. Okay.
Well, we got our slipper. Can I loot you? The robe is of no use to me. Covered with blood as it is, I'd only arouse suspicion and questions if I wore it. It is odd that he carries no pouch, but I can find nothing of value upon him. Oh. What is about the stick? I'll not touch the cursed thing that dared to strike my beauteous Marion. Hello? Okay. We still can't go into town, though, I think. I'll try. We're still gonna get, like, seen. Oh, the rest of this day seemed empty indeed with mo without Marion in it. I was glad for nightfall and my men listened with interest to all I had to tell of the lady. It is my way to share knowledge freely with my men, that they must, that they may advise me better when action must be taken. I see you've, you've, right, you've wisely refrained from filling your mug more than once this eve. Aye, too much grog is like sleeping with one's head beneath a smith's anvil. No more wish for dreams then, master? What need have I for dreams when I've seen the dream herself in flesh? I must learn more about her. Women can wait, there's Lob's business to deal with. Aye, yet somehow like two... Somehow the two are linked. You dare not show your face within the walls dressed as an outlaw. Still, I must find a way. We shall see what the morrow brings. Alright, day two done. Now, we gotta probably use the guide again to see which area of the map the next event is. I guess. <laughs> Can I borrow some of your son's clothes, ma'am? No. I wonder if the body is still here. Let's, uh, let's try. No, we can't. Not much going on there. What about uh, Professor Oak? Nope. It's made of fine, soft leather. That's not what I meant. Have anything to say about the slipper? That's a fine looking slipper, isn't it? Oh. It doesn't fit her. Wait, the the animal's talking to me? What? <laughs> I honestly might just look at the guide again. Cause like I don't I don't wanna walk around until I find what I need. <laughs> Like, I, like, I don't want to walk around until I find whatever's going on in the forest. I don't know, summon anything going on here? No? The 
Okay. This is, okay, apparently. Apparently if I stand here and wait, something happens. This is what you're supposed to do. <laughs> this is why you look at the guide, because I never would have just stood here and waited. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad I looked at that early. A hunchbacked beggar lurches his way down Watling Street. What does he want? You're about to complain. Merry morning to ya. Where are you bound? To Nottingham, I hear it must, or I hear it pro prospers, and a beggar must follow the clink of coins, eh? Have you a bit of charity for a wretched hunchback, sir? I've known some beggars whose purses were heavier than mine. Alas, sir, not I. That's why I travel to Nottingham, in hopes of changing my poor luck. Yeah, that's what I figured, Mike. <laughs> I really doubt anyone's actually gonna complain. At least I hope don't. And if I demanded a toll of you to pass along this road, then I must turn back the way I came, but I've no food or water, and would suffer greatly. Come, I'm poor pickings for an old, for a bold man such as you. Let me go on my way. I guess we'll give him some money. I can choose what the heck. How much should we give him? Like, I don't know how much. Um. Like, just one? That seems like a lot. That's like one full. There's a half and a quarter. Give him, like, two. Which is also just one whole, I guess. Give him, like. One and a half? <laughs> Get rid of my small change. Give him four of those. Twelve? I don't have enough for twelve. <laughs> Just splitting the coin. Okay, so we'll give him one and a half uh, dollar reduce. In small change. Much obliged, sir. Much obliged. May the Lord grant you a high seat in heaven. Not so quickly, my friend. For my price, I want you to give me those clothes you wear. <laughs> what? You truly want these old rags? But what earthly use? Worry not, ab not about my reasons. Will you be content with that money and an extra purse and new set of clothes besides? Sir, I would be more than content. For such a bargain, you may have rags, hump and all. I'll even teach you a few tricks. No need beggar, or no need friend beggar. I have enough tricks of my own. Man, give this jolly fellow a new set of clothes and a purse of pennies, enough to see him well on his way back north. Uh, north? North. Oh, of course, north, as you say. Cheer up, my friend. I'll not set you on the road without comfort. Tuck, you'll blindfold him and lead him to our camp where he may have food and water for his journey. Will, you'll, or you're to take my own garb and weapons and put them into my cave. And now, friend Bagger, let us change clothes. <laughs> we did it, I guess. Faith, you make a fine beggar, Robin. As twisted and wretched as, you've, as I've ever seen. Thank you kindly. See that our friend here receives all he was promised. I'll see to it. Happy begging, master. And we're limping.
All right. Let's go to the town now. Actually, I should save. Nine. Cobbler. <laughs> that was a cat noise? And that's a duck noise. Tis a duck. <laughs> it's a cat. Judging from the bits of thread and need needles stuck through her apron, I would say this woman's a tailor. Why don't you be coming to me unless you've got the money for a new suit of clothes hidden in the rags? I do believe you've been you've been patched so many times the cloth is gone and not the patches is left. Hey, look at look at my slipper. I don't repair shoes. You may, or you be wanting lob across the way there. Oh. Sorry, I thought you were lob. Fuck. Oh. I guess he's in here. Ah, may I help you? Yes, actually. What a fine slipper. You uh, were given this, indeed, by a vision of beauty named Marion. Shh, never speak her name around here, aloud here. Call her only the lady if you must mention her at all. Please come with me. I thought we were arm wrestling for a second. Forgive my caution, but the sheriff has spies everywhere, and I need to be sure of you. So, you are the infamous Robin Hood? None other. Your disguise is, uh, interesting. It serves its purpose, but the sooner I'm rid of it, the better. I've, I've risked much to come here, Lob. Your pardon, I'll speak swiftly and to the point. Though you're known as an outlaw, it is also said that you swear fealty to the king or to King Richard. As a as God is my witness, I am the king's loyal and devoted servant. I was unjustly outlawed through treachery. Those who abuse their high offices with corruption and greed are my enemies, not Richard the Lionheart. But what of the king? Have you news? Is he free yet? That, alas, is why I've called for you. Good Queen Eleanor uh, labors to raise the 100,000 gold marks as the ransom fee, but has yet been un unable to raise the full amount. Prince John employs all means of political betrayal, bribery, and outright, f outright theft to see that his brother is never released. Shrivel his black soul. Aye. The prince conspires with the sheriff and abbot of Nottingham. To the abbot, Prince John is entrusting a treasure of 50,000 marks, which he has diverted away from the queen and into his own pocket. This treasure will be sent from York, which means it must uh, travel here along Watling Street. If it could be captured by the virgin, it shall not leave Sherwood Forest except to be delivered to the queen. It is as I hoped. You may be the only man in all of England who can uh, bring about the king's release. When will this treasure be sent, and how come you know so much about these matters? I am but a humble servant of the queen, as is the Lady Marion. Though Lady Marion is a... hmm. Well, I shall leave it to the lady how much you learn of her. As for the treasure, I must leave tomorrow and travel to York to learn what I can. I'll send warning of their departure date to you through Lady Marion. Then I will see more of her. Indeed you will. Here in the here in town she lives the role of demure maiden, but in the forest she ah well. Do what? You will learn what you will learn. 
Take this silver comb. When you give this to her, she'll know we have spoken and that you've joined us to save the king. I could do nothing else. Where does Marion live? We will never seek her out in town. Never. That is far too dangerous for both of you. She'll await you in her sacred place, the Willow Grove upon the river. Ah, the place of the dream. Beg pardon? Nothing. Give the queen my word. I will seize this treasure in her name and as much other ransom as I can raise beside. Bless you. And God speed you on your mission. Alright. We gotta raise a hundred thousand dollar dues. There's no answer. <laughs> oh. Nothing more to be said, okay. Uh, okay. So she'll be at the grove. We have to give her the comb. Is she there now? Oh, nope. I heard eagerly to my camp as night fell. I had much to tell my men, but in truth, I was most eager of all to get rid myself of the beggar's accursed rags and to stand straight again. Phew! The stench of those burning rags does nothing to improve my digestion. Perhaps I should have saved the beggar's garb instead of burning it. Though it was falling apart already. Nay, I'm glad to see it burn. I swear, in one day of wearing those, those tatters, I've gained a thousand flea bites. Tell us again of this treasure. It comes down Watling Street. When? How will it be garden? guarded? Lob must learn all this and pass the information to us when the time is right. Patience, John. Our chance to save or to serve the king will come. Nor will I count only upon this treasure. I will gather ransom by whatever means I can. Pursue two treasures, eh, master? For on the morrow you may at least... At last exchange more than a fleeting word with this dream maiden of yours. I, and though I love my king, I shall not say which treasure I pursue with more eagerness. Alright, we're like on day four already. I wonder how long the game is. Hold on, let me let me. Let me see. I know, I usually check before starting one of these. That's not how you spell longbow. It says main story six hours, main plus extra nine hours. Okay, so it's like six to nine hours. I will be about if you need me. I think I missed some dialogue there because I was looking <laughs> away. <laughs> I thought I, I thought he was gonna stand in the cave. Okay. There she is. Bring no weapons into the sacred place. If you wish it, my lady, I will gladly lay them down. He said something about how he'll be around. Okay. I'm most pleased to see you again. I beg you to stay longer this time. That will depend upon you, for I've yet to decide if I may fully trust you. Oh. I have a comb for your hair. <laughs> Did you see how fast they passed it? Because <laughs> of the speed. So you've spoken to Lob. He wouldn't have given you this token unless you agreed to join us. Marion, I love my king as well as any loyal subject. I'll do everything in my power to save him and to raise as much ransom as I can. Seizing the stolen treasure that Prince John sends to the abbot will be more than enough. Of course, sweet lady, but you'll not begrudge me the thought of raising more, if the means presents itself. I like not... I like not that you think only of stealing. You wound me. I steal only from those corrupted curs who grow, who grow fat upon the suffering of others. Then, noble Robin, I beg your pardon and urge you to be a wolf among curs, that we may save a lion. 
but now I must speak more seriously. The prince suspects that we may, or that we move against him. He has many spies watching the queen and those who serve her. We must act with great caution. What do you know of the monks from the fens, such as the one who attacked me? Little enough, save that for that one deed alone, they've earned my hatred. They're hand-picked men who serve uh, Prince John. Each was a soldier. John has bidden them form a monistic order to cover their true dealings in his behalf. Already they've stolen an object that is vital to my plans. I must have it back before we can make another move. What is it? A simple scroll upon which is drawn the outline of a hand. This is such... This is of such import that we must have it. I wouldn't ask otherwise. Then I'll fetch it back for you. I cannot tell you how glad you make me. For I despaired of ever finding a way. Glad enough to reward me with a kiss? No, probably our reward will be like her glove or something. Perhaps when you've earned one. When you have the hand scroll, return here. I'll be waiting. We don't get a reward? He is so thirsty. Okay, we'll save, then we'll go to the monastery. 11. We're almost at the number. Still have to find a way, like, we need, like, a boat or something. Why are you going so slow? The speed got turned down. He's so slow. How are we gonna get in there? Just walk around, maybe we'll find something. Nope. Okay. <laughs> what if I just go here and wait? If I just uh, watch. Oh my god, it worked. I'm learning learning the mechanics of the game. We gotta save this guy. Old. I would know why this man is bound. It's none of your affair, but he's a poacher. Hurrah, I know you. You're Robin Hood. Show this bully behind me who's the true master of Sherwood Forest. Shut up, you, or I'll kill you now and save myself a lot of trouble. Robin Hood, eh? Your head'll fetch me a fine reward. It is your head that's in greater peril. All you outlaws, outlaws are cowards. You think I'd run from the likes of you? I don't want to take such great courage to arrest a man whose only crime is hunger. He killed one of the king's deer. The law says he must die. It's the sheriff's greed and the illegal taxes he collects that drive the people to such desperate measures. Fah, what do I care? I order you to surrender yourself at once. Surrender this! Got him. By the virgin that was masterly shooting. <laughs> Hold still, fellow. I'll have you untied in a thrice. I will, believe me. What shooting? I'll never forget the day, this day. I thank you heartily. Is it safe to return for my dear? You'd best not return. We know better how to smuggle such a thing close to town. Um, I think I want to give him some money before he leaves. Let 
lads. This fellow's had a lucky day, saved from a poacher's fate. Will some of you now help him bring his deer to his family? Will and I will fetch the deer, Robin. But what of this other carrion? Though he scarcely deserves it, bring a shroud and bury him. This is the only Christian thing to do. Fie, he's on his way to, to Hades anyway. Well, uh, well, leave it to us. No, we can't give him money. Thank you again. I can't wait to tell my wife. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. There we go. I mean, we gave the other guy one and a half, so why don't we... That's one and a half. <laughs> one more thing. Take this money to Forestall. To Forestall another trip into the forest. Thank you, Robin Hood. Alas, I fear that as long as the sheriff imposes his high taxes, I'll have to keep poaching. I'll do what I can to change that. If ever I can be of service to you, you have but to ask. We still missed giving money to the first lady we saved, unfortunately. He's broken into a run and plunges into the forest, no doubt to take a shortcut home. <laughs> he plunges to take a shortcut home. Oh, Dark Souls. Supper was a ribald affair. The lads pressed me shamelessly to tell all. Well, Treasure Seeker, you've been uncommon quiet upon the lady's virtues now that you've truly met her. Aye, you've told us of this mission you must undertake and then the odd scroll she wants you to find. But of Marion herself you say nothing. Perhaps he knows you'd wrap it up into some bit of haughty nonsense, or body nonsense, using song and a lute to torment us, as indeed you do each night. Why, you pizzle-nosed wretch, pizzle wretch? I could sing the an angels down from the heavens, and the skirts o over a wretch's head. Yet for all my skill I cannot charm a maid to glance twice at you, and you eaten with envy at my boyish looks and honeyed voice. Envy of a beardless bardling who crow who crows like a scrawny rooster? Cease, lads. If I say not of Marion, tis only because words fail me. She has beauty beyond poem or song. Whatever she asks, I will do. Odds blood, this sounds serious, lads. Our Robin is well and truly smitten. A toast to your mission, then, with all the rewards that success may bring. Day five? Day six? Day something. Day X. Top of the morning to you. Where's Tuck? Is there no breakfast? He's gone off to visit the widow yet again. He claims he's only interested in her wool, but I suspect he's doing a bit of wool gathering, if you know what I mean. At any rate, you're on your own ta. Okay. Let's go visit him. If he's here. There he is. Robin, I was about to go for you. What luck you've come. What is amiss? Good woman, why do you weep so? Oh my heart. If they hang my beautiful boys, it will burst. It will burst of grief. Grief. Her sons were arrested, all three of them. Someone betrayed them to the sheriff. I swear by the Virgin Mary, I'll do all in my power to save your sons from the hangman's rope. Um. Yep. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but uh, we'll we'll do it, I guess. I feel like I should save before I go anywhere close to the town. 212. Castle? I mean, I can't go anywhere, though. 
except the pub. They just kill me there. Do I have anything to ask you? Something's going on here now. It doesn't look like it. end. Yeah. No one's here. Actually, when all else fails, you go here and you wait. Oh, see, look, there's a. That's one of the robed monastery men. So what if we go down there and steal his robes? Oh, who is that? You block my way, friend. I, so I do. Move aside. And if I do not, since you seem determined to block my way, what is it you want? I'm not a common outlaw. I'm Robin Hood. I know of you. It would serve my master well to have you dead. Name your master. Prince John, he who deserves to rule. Traitorous dog, Richard is our king. Not for long. And when Prince John takes the crown, then you outlaws will know the true, uh, true meaning of fear. He'll not rest until he's hunted down every last one of you and set you to dancing at the end of a rope. Not even this forest will be large enough to hide you from his wrath. That day will never come. As for what I want, your robe and whatever you carry upon you. By the Trinity, I'll give you nothing but the trap, or but the wrap of my staff upon your skull made a very poor decision because I got range. Remove your robe and turn over your possessions now or I will kill you. I fear nothing but the judgment of God. I loathe a dishonorable death, but you're a dishonorable foe. You dare. You have a longbow and I a staff. You call this an even match? <laughs> no. Who said it had to be even? I challenge you to combat with the quarterstaff. Just shoot him, dude. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I didn't think I had a choice. Now I'm like, should I? <laughs> if okay, we have to, we have to try. I accept. Do we have melee combat mechanics? I did not save. I mean, I saved right before going into the town. All we'd have to do is. I must have a quarter staff that is equal to your own. We saved like pretty recently. It's fine. I want to see if there's like melee combat mechanics or something. <laughs> what is it, Master? Does this monk trouble you over much? Little John, will you lend me your quarter staff? This monk has challenged my honor. Gladly, I gladly will I lend it to you. Yeah, just everyone gang up on him. Okay. Oh! Oh! He, he's blocking. He ducked! Hit his feet. Trip him. Oh my god, he jumped. I think I'm... 
Oh, I got him. Okay, I think you have to wait. You just wait. There we go. There, you hit him when he strikes. No, he ducked. I killed him. <laughs> he fought well. He did, actually. But not well enough. Your final blow was so strong it broke his staff. Aye, that was bad luck. I'll have to make do with this robe and whatever he's carrying. Rest yourself, Robin. We'll remove the robe, and when you've changed, I'll take your clothes and weapons to your cave. Well, we got him. I, I'm curious if you could have just shot him with an arrow and just been done with it. You look the part, Robin, even without a staff, but surely you could have kept little John's? Nay, he values it too high highly. It'll be my wits that keep me alive, not a staff. Haha, -ha, then you're poorly armed indeed. Wow. Tis better than not being armed at all like you. Be off with you, rascal. You're a rascal. Okay. Can we just walk into the monastery now? Three teen. Like I don't, th I don't know how we're gonna walk in. It's kind of in water. <laughs> we got the robes. What is this? It is a whistle made from a marsh reed which the Fen's monk was carrying. Oh, okay. So what if I? if I use it. Beautiful. I hear something coming through the fog. There we go. I heard your signal, brother. But I don't know your face. Have you newly joined our order? Aye, and I've been sent to serve here. Step in, then, and be seated. I'll take you across. Alright. How do I step into your boat, sir? <laughs> there we go. Life jacket robes. That guy has very good balance. Standing up on that that boat. Very relaxing. business inside let me pass you are new brother therefore you must prove yourself I must have the tokens you bear for the guardian of the gate the tokens um, what's what's in this pouch I never actually looked hmm? nine gemstones Does that, does that work? This is not the order of things, brother. I must have a first token before you present this. Of course. Like, everybody knows that. Everyone knows you want that first. This is not one of the riddle stones. Be sure you turn it over to the prior, if I let you pass. Okay. You want some, some money? 
Uh, you want my flute? This is the first token. I await the rest. Okay. This guy's very patient with me. I accept your tokens, brother. Now you must prove your knowledge of the lore of the gemstones. This is the way of it. I will pose you three riddles. There are three stones which you must choose to answer each riddle. If you are right, you will pass in safety. If you are wrong, commend your soul to God, for you will die here. I should have saved. Here's the first riddle. Demons dance to my call. I am a thief. Hold on, can I save? Okay, I can save here. Good. Riddle... Monka. Demons dance to my call. I am a thief none can catch. No sharp blade worries me. What do I have? Demons dance... Okay, what do we even have here? We have like a diamond... We have just like a stone. Maybe a ruby. Maybe a sapphire. That one there is just like a pill. No sharp blade worries me. Oh, diamonds. Bad choice. <laughs> oh no, we're gonna drown. Oh no, we fell backwards. That killed us? I hear the monks dumped Robin's body into the fens after the garden guardian cracked his pate. Aye, he failed to study his gemstone lore. I didn't study for the test. I'll not go near those fens now and see his drowned soul lighting the swamps with the other will-o'-wisps. Be, you'd, you'd be safe enough with a piece of jet or lapis lazuli in hand. How do you know that? Study my gemstone lore in the book, that's how. I suggest you do the same. Is th This is a, a manual. This is a... <laughs> it's the anti-cheat, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. There's always, go there's always one anti-cheat section. I mean, we can probably brute force this. He said something about lapis lazuli. Isn't that blue? Bad choice. Okay. You know what? I can just... Keep... I can just brute force it. <laughs> what about the other blue one? Bad choice, stranger. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Let's, uh, well, let's just, I still have the walkthrough up, so I can just, it should tell me in here, unless it doesn't. <laughs> um, here we go. Okay, so there's a bunch of different questions he can ask. Uh, so demons dance, this one... This one is Jet Opal Carnel Carnelian. Okay. So Jet is that one. Oh, there we go. So this is actually all three. This one riddle is all three. Basically, like, there's... If you don't have the manual of the game... Um, you can't get past certain s things. Like, in the, in the last game I played, a guy asks a question, and you have to, like, type in an answer. Of just, like, a random name. But the only way to get that name is if you have the manual. So it's like... Yeah, not anti-cheat, but... Anti-piracy. Okay, next one is... Opal. Which is that one. And then... That one. Here's the sec- okay, there's more riddles. I would comfort- okay, I don't even- I would comfort a friend. Opal, Jet, Carnelian. Opal. Jet. Carnelian. 
I have a fever. Um, Amber agates carnelian. Amber agates. There we go. Okay. Whoa. A castle. Or a monastery. Riddle. Oh. Riddle done. Okay. Prior and other monks are in this refectory. This is the dining dining hall. That guy looks evil. I don't recognize who or you. Who are you? I am uh, Brother Eustace. I. What do you hear, Brother Eustace? I've joined your order so that I may serve Prince John as he deserves. Then you're welcome, Brother Eustace. If you can fight. There's not, there's not a one of us that wasn't a soldier before we donned the black robes. There are those with good cause to fear the skill of my arm, your worship, or I would not be wearing this robe. Good. We'll have to put it to the test soon. Have you sworn to obey the vows of our order? Oh, I've made many a solemn oath, never fear. Have a care, Brother Eustace. Your tongue is a mile slippery, or is a mite slippery for a man who has sworn humility and obedience. Please pardon me, your worship. Very well, but we are strict here. Any infraction is punished with lathings, with lashings. <laughs> Remember that. Okay, sir. Silence is better than talk. What's this room? Okay. Uh, let's just go up here. The prior is within, surrounded by torture devices, with this unfortunate with his unfortunate victim strung up on one of them. Oh. Answer me. Speak, or I'll put weights on your feet and rip your arms from their sockets. Him. Fag. I tell you, brother Eustace, I've never seen a more stubborn, stupid creature than this miserable dwarf. Aye, he does look miserable. I've wasted enough time here. You're to stand guard and increase his pain in any way you can. When he's ready to talk, send for me. I'll be in the scribe's room. We have to. You're telling me to torture this guy? With a space. Are these rats? There's no answer. Do you want me to use the <laughs> use the device here? Or oh, taking them down? Okay. You, you, you set me free, but the prior bade you. Shrivel his black soul, I'm no servant of his. Such kindness makes you a giant among men, and men that men are giants indeed when I am amongst them. How can you jest when you still shake with pain? But I am <laughs> I'm folk, the jester, don't you know? Court jester to God save him, Richard. Cord de lion. What? Your King Richard's own jester? Then our king is free? I will never betray my beloved master, so if this is some filthy trick to win my trust... Nay, listen well. I will place my life in your hands to show my good faith. I am no monk, I am Robin Hood. 
Oh, ah, sorry, should that mean something? <laughs> Only that I am the most hunted outlaw in all England. You have but to whisper my name to these monks and I'm a dead man. Pray pardon me. I've been on the crusades with Blessed Mary Protect Him, our beloved king for many years. Alas, he's still a prisoner in Europe. But how you come here? What? <laughs> how came you here? My master sent me ahead of him, so I escaped Leopold's am ambush. But upon reaching England, I fell into Prince John's hands. May he suffocate and oh, oh, fall. He turned me over to these monks, who seemed to know you well enough. I swear by the Virgin Mary, I'm not one of them. The prior swears by the Holy Three, yet he tortures me. How would you have me prove myself, folk? Why should you want to? As I love my king, I swear I will not leave here unless I take his devoted servant with me. And I will not leave here without my verses. I beg your pardon? They're written upon a ragged bit of scroll wrapped around a wooden cylinder. The prior, may the devil feed him dung for eternity, has taken them. Are those the scrolls that uh, our girlfriend wants us to take? The prior seeks to decode the secrets of my verses, but he must not or I will have failed the trust my king placed in me. Return my scroll to me and I'll never doubt you again. Are we gonna have to choose, like, return it to this guy or the lady? Hmm. Seventeen. Where, where, where were they again? I, he probably doesn't know. Oh, these, these are rats, right? They are. They are pretty big rats. Wooden cylinder. Right, he did say that. Can I go up? Spiral stairs leading upward in this tower. Okay. At the top of these stairs, there's a locked door with a small barred window. Through it, I see a small prison cell with no one inside. What about up here? I see desks and scrolls inside. This is a room set aside for study. Go in. Hello. Pardon me. A. Ah, Brother Eustace. Has the... Uh, Kanjian... Kanjian broken? Have you loosened his half-wit tongue? Nay, your grace. What are you doing here? Uh, one of your more trusted brothers arrived to take my place and bade me well, or bade me tell you he'd break the dwarf for you soon enough. Which brother dared to countermand my order to you? Forgive me, your worship. His name has clear fled my poor brain. Tis a poor brain indeed. A bacon brain. More full of fat than sense. Do what you will for now. I'll deal with your punishment and his later. Punishing me for my bacon brain? Okay, let's search. Take the robe off here. No, don't take it off. Wait, what is this? Allow me to refill your goblet, your worship. Uh-oh! <laughs> you stupid, clumsy, worthless. Fuck. Clean up this mess. I'm going to my tower to wash out my rope. <laughs> Got him. There we go. There's the scroll. I clumsy as a fox, your worship. Doink. Guess that's all we need. What about the chest? What's in the chest? It's locked. Can we pick it? No. Oh, we opened it. The trees argued amongst themselves to decide who was the first amongst trees. In Latin they spoke. I am tall and straight, said Neon. Idha said, The Romans loved me dearly. Said Muin, Nothing is sweeter than what I bear. Octax said, Much is made of me. Music hides within me, said Ruus. I do not sleep in winter, said Alum. Red is my crowning beauty, Lewis claimed. Idho cried, the power of the bow sleeps within me. Said sail, harps sang to me in Babylon. 
So the trees argued, but the key is this. Every tree is first amongst trees. And first they are in order spoken. I sense a puzzle. I sense a riddle. Let's just not worry about that for now. Here you go. Bless you, bless you, hooded Robert. Robin Hood. <laughs> Sorry. Now that I have my verses back, I can show you a means of escape. I cannot leave yet, my friend. There's another scroll I must find. That was the mission that brought me here. Then go. I give my word that I'll wait for you. But make haste. If the prior returns before you, we'll both be ornaments upon his devilish, this devilish tree. I'm guessing it's in gonna be in that like it's gonna be in that chest probably. What's this room? The door to the tower is locked. I have a hunch the prior lives here. Okay. Is he gonna show us how to escape? This, this kind of looks important. What is that? The Normans who built this fortress must have left behind this effigy of a Norman knight. Is it like a... Can you, like, do something with it? Okay. Wait, wait. It's down here. New... <laughs> what are you doing? Don't go in there. Hmm. No, no key. Oh. There's a bunch of scrolls here. Herein is the most amazing account of, his, of the siege of Jerusalem. Christians, Greeks, and Syrians were joined in the assault. Count Raymond, Duke Godf Godfrey. Also Robert, Count of Normandy, and Robert of Flanders were there. They built a siege tower of small pieces of wood and all that was to be had and bounded it with leather thongs. They attacked with catapults and other contraptions, and daring soldiers launched stones and arrows from the siege tower. Saracens within hurled from their slings, torches and flaming, bla flaming brands soaked in oil and fat, and thus many died upon both sides. By noon of the day, dedicated to Venus, the walls were breached and taken. Franks and others poured in uh, and pursued the Saracens. Saracens? I don't know. So that the enemy were driven to take refuge inside the holy places. Within the Temple of Solomon, 10,000 Saracens were decapitated. Not a soul was spared, neither the women nor children. Okay, okay. 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 That was only one scroll. <laughs> this one contains a piece of history written by Paulus Orosius in the 5th century. Um... Probably not the one we want. The scroll tells of Amazons. These were wives whose husbands were killed in war. Hmm. Probably not the one. The death of Attila was written by Jordanes in the 6th century. Okay. Um... Description of the habits of Charlemagne, ruler of the Franks. Isidore of Seville of the 7th century wrote the etymologies. The origin of glass. Probably not what we need. I had to guess. Oh, the big one. 
Description of a palace in Constantinople called Magnara of Magna Alla, meaning the Great Court. This is, uh... Already looked at that. The Historia Rerum Angel Angela <laughs> Anglicarum. That's how you say it. There's no notation of the writer of this scroll, yet it seems to speak of the history of this very fortress. Okay. Do I know what we're looking for? I don't know if she even told us. Anglo-Saxon Manual of Astronomy, written but a century ago. Atoms, which are so minute that they are invisible, indivisible, and cannot be cut or divided or further broken down. Crazy. Oh, this fits the description Marion, Marion gave me. I'll tuck it into my sleeve. All right. We're, we're making progress. How do I leave? Okay, you walk, you walk out of it. Folk is still there. I should save? I feel like it's been forever. Oh, I guess I won't. Thank God I've begun to despair of you. Have you found the scroll you need? Aye, I have it. Follow me quickly. Please save. Where are we going? The monks brought me in this way. Looks like a solid wall, but press here and it opens. Follow me. Do you have a boat? I hope you do. Oh, you do. Please, let's go at once. As soon as they discover I'm gone, they'll come looking for us. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thought he was leaving. How do we open this? <laughs> um, I can tell from here that I couldn't possibly raise that grate by force. Okay. Oh my god, he's so fast. <laughs> There's only a wall here. The water goes no further. Please return to the gate and let's leave it, leave it once. Well... What do, you, what do you want me to do? Speak. Do not look, do not look upon me. I am utterly deformed. Oh, we're talking to the stone? A curse upon which the stonecutter who gave me such a face. I was trying to talk to the dwarf. Do not bother me. I am thinking about weight, weighty imponderables. You are as stupid as a sack full of hammers. Wow. Duh, Garsh. What was the question? When I howl, the rocks listen and the stones obey. Beware of my voice, for it is the voice of death. If I were not stone, I would leap from here and devour you. You look delicious. Ha 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 ha. Are we having fun yet? Ha ha he. Um. What does this scroll say? Do you help me somehow? I'll open the hand scroll. There's the outline of a hand. Right, she told us that, I remember now. Um... Just, just go. What does he say? We must escape through the grate, or they'll kill us. Well... <laughs> okay, I can... 
I can click on them. This gargoyle may have uh, shifted slightly in my touch, but it may have been a trick of the water. It was as unpleasant to touch as to look upon. Let's just touch them all. This gargoyle's tongue feels a trifle loose, but nothing happens when I pull upon it. It's beyond my reach. Thank the virgin it didn't bite my fingers, though I almost thought I felt it move at my touch. It did nothing to my touch. What did that say? The stone is slimy from the fence water. I feel like we need the top one. But we can't reach it, so what if we, like, grab you? Oh. <laughs> Go on my shoulders. Ow. I just hit my mic stand. Like arm. You want that? Beyond my reach. Like, we can reach it if, uh, like, this guy just... Can I get off? No. I don't think I can get off. Oh, hi, sir. We're just going for a stroll. Rotten hell. He'll be there before me. Vocalis, speak. I, master. Call death down upon the head of yonder sinner. <laughs> Oof. Okay. <laughs> so we were timed there. What is, what is this, though? That's just where you tie the boat. But does it do anything? Nope. Wait, what's this brick on the wall there? It looks like a button. It's not. Okay, I, I guess we have to touch these in a certain order. Do not bother me. I'm thinking about weighty imponderables. Cogito. You're as stupid as a ha sack full of hammers. We can't even touch you. If I were not stone, I would leap from here and devour you. Are we having fun yet? There's only so many things I can do. That one makes a noise. That one does nothing to my touch. That one's slimy. I don't know. You know how I can find out though. Wait, 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 wait. We can give him money? <laughs> I'll give him one and a half. Oh, we'll just do three of those. One and a half. You're too kind. <laughs> okay. 
I think that's just like for points. Click on the thoughtful, hungry, and foolish looking gargoyle. The thoughtful, hungry, and foolish? He's thinking. Okay. Hungry is you. And foolish is you. I'm not sure I understand this puzzle. Let's reload because I did touch them before. Hey, drug zombie. Burb tie bow. <laughs> I get it. I get it. First, we'll give him some money. One and a half. So, thoughtful one, hungry, and foolish looking. Oh, foolish looking. Thoughtful, hungry, and then foolish looking one was you. I'm not, I don't understand that puzzle. <laughs> it raised the gate. I, I'm not sure how I, how you figure that out. I'm clearly missing something. Well, we did it. You've done it, we're free! Shh, listen. They've discovered our escape. Thank the blessed lady the fog is so thick on these waters, it'll hide us until we reach the shore. Those three all said something about moving slightly? They did? Oh, like when I touched it. I see. My poor words of gratitude can never express what is in my heart. Let me give you two parting gifts to show my sincerity. Take these ragged verses of mine. They hold secrets within secrets, treasures within treasures. Our boat's going away. <laughs> now open the end of the wooden cylinder and tap gently into your hand <clears throat> what is hidden within. By the Virgin. A magnificent ring of lapis lazuli set in silver. No ordinary ring either. My master, God save the king, saved the life of a magician during the siege of Jerusalem. The magician gave him two magic rings. The ring that commands fire and the ring that commands water. The abbot of Nottingham, may his brain be infested with leprous magne maggots. <laughs> magnets. Has taken the ring that commands fire for himself. Whosoever wears that ring cannot be harmed by fire, however hot. What you hold in your hand is the ring that commands water. In truth, it commands elemental spirits or other such beings that live in watery places, rather than commanding the water itself. I bid you to keep it safe until my master can come calling for it himself. And I charge you, if ever you and deprive that fat, scabrous abbot of the fire ring who will be doing our king, your king, a noble service. I give you my word to put my wits to it. If it can be done, I will find a way. Then I commend to you these bits of... Uh... Thom... What? Tome Follery that I call verse. Sure. 
Within them, you will find the key to unlock the Ring of Fire. Farewell, then. I'm off to find Queen Eleanor and serve her until my master, bless him, is returned to us. Farewell, folk. We shall meet again if God wins. Thanks for the bits. I hurried back to the camp as quickly as I could, arriving shortly after dusk to find the men anxiously awaiting my return. Alright. But that this ring Falke gave you could make you invisible. And you could walk into Nottingham Castle and free the Widow's sons. If you think I acted wrongly, nay, Robin, it was as clever a trick as you've ever pulled. And freeing the King's own jester was a fine deed. But Hal, Hob, and Dickon will hang as soon as the Sheriff pleases. Tomorrow may be our last chance to rescue them. Then let us sleep now. We'll need all our strength and cunning to save those men. Wait, so it makes us invisible? Or were they joking about that? What is that? It's the black robe. Can I take it? I'll need to take care if I'm to pass as one of these militant monks. I'll take it with me. I'll take only what I feel necessary with me, okay? Oh, I have a choice. Okay. We don't want to be a monk. I see. I get it. You're looking thoughtful. Will says he's just gotten word that Hal, Hob, and Dickon will hang at sunset today. Hob and, me, Hob and me grew up together. He's like one of my own brothers. Much. I swear I'll do all I can to save them. Seems like a good time to save. Nine. Teen. So we can't just, like, go in here. Like, just go to the castle. <laughs> Let's see. There's the ring. We also have the scroll, so we have to give the scroll back. Also, isn't this Folk's scroll? Oh, that's what he, he gave us that, actually. Open it. Oh, okay, that's the, that's the same thing we read before. It's a riddle. Close it. The ring that commands water slips easily onto my finger. Oh, we have a fist. Okay, yeah, we'll keep it hidden from sight for now. Let's go... See if we can find Marion. Is she here? No. Hmm. Did she say where she would be? I don't think so. Oh. This lady's gone. Can I go in there now? <laughs> and her sheep is gone. What about you? The scroll talked of trees, so what if I use the scroll on you? Nope. Okay. When in doubt, you just sit here and wait. And eventually someone will come strolling down. There you go. <laughs> T 
top of the top of the day to you, brother. Thank you. Ahram, did you want something? What brings you along Watling Street? Um, I'm not really supposed to discuss it with strangers. But no one would miss you for quite some time if you didn't return. Oh, mercy, don't hurt me. Well, I have done nothing but talk to you. There's no need to panic. Yet. Can I talk some more? You wouldn't harm a man of the cloth, would you, sir? And how is it that a man of the cloth requires so much cloth to cover his enormous belly? What of those who, who go hungry while you eat well? Um, well, um... And those who are forced to toil upon the abbot's grandiose abbey under threat of excommunication? Um... Really have to, uh, take that up with his grace. Feh. What a useless bloody conversation this is. Aye, aye, you're right. Uh, may I go now? I'll think about it. What do you- what do you want? You want a horn? I hardly need my men to deal with this cowardly fellow. You wanna shoot him? I feel like I should save. Oh my god, we shot him. <laughs> I'll have your robe now. I, I, I. Wait, maybe we didn't shoot him. Maybe we just threatened him. Whatever you want, anything. Don't kill me, I beg you. Take my robe, but spare me. Have mercy. I trow, monk. Threatening you with a bow is like swatting a fly with a catapult. It gets the job done, but with far more effort than is needed. Oh. What the heck is happening? Why are we spanking him? Have mercy. Oh, good friar, how can you consort with these thieves and rogues? Take me to town and the abbot will reward you will reward you well. Keep chopping, or I'll reward you with my with the flat of my blade again. I don't know if this is what we're supposed to do, but what we're doing. Robin, why would you make a fine figure of a monk in that rope? Or why you make a fine figure of a monk in that rope? Bless you, my son. Take good care of our guest. I'm off to Watling Street. Spank him. When he's finished with this, I'll take him out to gather more firewood to chop. He'll know the true meaning of honest work when I'm done with him. Have mercy. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're doing... I'm pretty sure this is like the renegade choice that we did here. Just like before, we, we could have just shot the dude. But instead we chose to fought... Or to fight him honorably. Oh well. It 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 worked, I guess. <laughs> we go in the town now, maybe. Castle? It doesn't really matter. That's good. <laughs> Good sir, please allow me to administer to those poor souls in your dungeon. They're only outlaws. Are they not lost sheep? Surely you would not send them to their deaths unshriven. Not for me to say, I have orders. No one is to be admitted. What if I gave you... What if I put on the ring? And then... Uh, I don't know. I ask you again to let me shrive those unfortunate souls in your dungeon before they are hung. Of course, I have been persuaded to bend the rules a bit from time to time. Okay. I'm gonna take the ring off. Um...
How much do you want? A quarter? <laughs> I wonder if this gift would soften your heart, for I dearly desire to shrive the souls of those poor outlaws in your dungeon. You'll have to do better than this, okay? Two. I'm just gonna find the minimum. My son, I cannot bear the thought of thought that any man, even those villainous outlaws the sheriff plans to hang, should go to his, his death unshriven. Will this move you to compassion so that I may go to the dungeon and administer unto them? I'm deeply moved, brother. Your plea has touched me. Roger, Giles. Alright, we did it. Escort this monk to the dungeon and let him speak to the prisoners, but make it quick. This monk is here to give the outlaws their final blessing. You'll have to do it through the trap door. At least allow me to hear their sins alone. You can wait for me upstairs. Sorry, can't, you, can't leave you alone in here. Get on with it. Mm hmm. My sons, I have come to pray for your wicked souls. Lift up thine eyes and attend unto me. A pox on you, monk. That's a hooded man, I. We see you now, brother with the glad eyes. What would you say to us? That salvation may yet be yours if you will follow my path. Wherever you lead us, brother, we will follow, if God wills. I, if God wills. For it is my duty to lead you from the darkness into the light, and I shall not fail in my duty even should the devil himself block my path. That's enough. Shrive their souls and be done with it. Have faith, my sons. Uh, d don't mind your, that, that thing. Come with me before the sheriff comes along and has our hides for letting you in at all. Did we do it? Is, was that it? <laughs> There's an Indiana Jones adventure game that not only didn't tell you the amount of money you had to give for a bribe, but it would raise the amount if you guessed wrong. And eventually fail and soft lock the game. <laughs> I mean, I've played a couple Indiana Jones games. But it was a while ago, so I don't remember. It was a, I don't remember which one had bribing. I guess I played like one and a bit. The Last Crusade game was just awful. <laughs> I did not finish that. Um. Go to the cobbler. Hello, Lob. Are you here, Lob? Oh, I didn't mean to skip it. Lob's gone away. Okay. Do you want any sewing done? I'm at your service. Do we want sewing done? No. I wonder if we can go in the pub. That's not what I clicked. <laughs> Is it? No, we can't. Okay, so we, I think we definitely have to do something at the castle. I had a little time with those unfortunate outlaws. May I go and pray over them at greater length? He's not letting us in again. Hmm. We're, I doubt we're done here, but...
Oops. I need to find the lady. Give her the scroll. I'm also curious if uh, we can change. We're building our uh, costume collection up. Are you going? There you go. Like, I guess we could, but why? Let's try this one. Like, can I walk around in town with this? Hello. I wish to see the sheriff. There's no time for the likes of you. Oh. Okay. Pub St. Mary's? Oh. I can go here. Beautiful. Do I have to go in the robes, though? so fast. Have you business here, brother? I with the abbot. Very well, come with me. Alright, we're in. What can I do for you, brother? I bring greetings from the prior. He asks if you've had any further instructions from Prince John. Shh, we don't speak of such things in the open. Ah, well, the prior did warn me of your cowardice. He what? Brother, he said, don't expect much of the abbot. After all, he is a fat, ugly, some lazy, stupid coward and entirely corrupt. Them. Why that? Why he? Of all, I never. Oh, and known to have intimate relations with sheep. That's what he said, most of it. Get out of my sight. That, did that go well? I don't know. It may not have been a useful visit, but it was certainly a satisfying one. Is that a different door I can go in? Hmm. Okay, well, let's go into the other. Let's go into the other robes. Yes. Okay. This seems like the right clothes to go to that place with. Oh, hello. You're back. Any luck in town? Not enough, I'm afraid. You mustn't give up too soon. Word has come that the sheriff will hang the boys at sunset. I know. Oh, we got a ding. Good day, brother. Remember the... Remember to bar the door once you're inside. Of course. Oh. Um. Start with this room. A laundry room. I feel like I should save. <laughs> oh no! Your directory slash disk cannot... Holds any more saved, ga saved games. Oh no. 
replace 21. Three freshly washed robes and sash belts. I mean, I already have a robe. They're mostly dry. Okay. Well, now I got three. Maybe they're for my friends. See, the refectory and the abbot is within at the far end of the room. Okay, that's where we were before. That'd be of service to you, your grace. I that you can, brother. This bloody puzzle box is driving me mad and I'm down to my last mug of ale. Trot over to the pub and get me more of his most potent brew. Forget my ignorance, but why don't you simply break open the box? Because it's too well made, that's why. And besides, it's supposed to contain a magic ring. A perfect ruby set in flames made of gold. And I'll not take any chances of damaging it. Not that it's any of your business, be on your way. Shall I take the empty cask with me, your grace? Fine, who cares? For what that innkeeper charges me, he can afford to lose a few casks. But make sure you bring back his best ale. None of that poisonous, scrumpy cider stuff. Pardon me, but how shall I pay for it? I notice you have your purse. Enough addle pated questions. He'll bill me as he always does. I'll be off with you. Okay, we need that box, and I'm pretty sure we have a riddle for the puzzle to open it. Um, we need to get you ale, though. Tis a cup. Can I take the cup? No, I can't. Okay, so we gotta go to the pub, I guess. Let's just do that now. Um, apparently I'm going back here. <laughs> Tuck, it's nearly sunset. Aye, the men became near frantic with worry, and you didn't know if, you've ever, if you'd ever return. They thought the sheriff might have caught you as well. So they mounted an attack and planned to free the lads from the gallows no matter what the cost. Did I take too long or something? I must go to them. Too late now, Robin. I was left to warn you, but, well, we can only wait. Sit with me and we'll pray. Did I take too long to rescue them? I don't know. It was a long, wearisome Virgil or vigil until my men returned with Hal Hob and Dickens safely rescued from the hangman's rope. Oh, they did it. But there had been no time for a careful plan. Following a suggestion from much, they had simply charged in like madmen, hoping to win through by through by sheer surprise. And though we all rejoiced to have those three fine lads join our band, we lost seven other good men who will never hunt the Greenwood again. Seven? I feel like I messed up. Outlaws 27? Oh no. Well done, men. You've made the widow a happy woman this day. Nay, you should be right me, Robin. I led the attack and we lost many good men. Because of my foolish plan, nay, the failure is mine. Perhaps it's time to choose a new leader. Don't be a fool. You've proven yourself many a time. You're our leader, none other. After today, I dare not put myself forward for such a job. Tomorrow, go and see the widow, Robin. She begged me to send you so that she might thank you herself. I did nothing to deserve her thanks. She knows full well what you risked by entering the town. She insisted that you come. Perhaps I will. I'm weary, lads. I bid you all a good night and pleasant dreams on the sheriff's humiliation. I don't know if I could have saved them. I feel like maybe I could have. I don't know. Let's just say we couldn't. We never... <laughs> we still have to go get ale for that lady. Or, yeah, that person. 
Why do I go down? Let's do. Twenty two. Okay, we'll talk to the widow and we'll go back to the abbot, I guess. Good day, Robin. You'll be on your way to see Marion in the what? I skipped it. I must give thanks for the safe return of my sons. Don't thank me, I did nothing. Please, such bitterness doesn't become you. Besides, I know full well that you made the three made three dangerous trips in Nottingham, seeking a way to save them and spare needless deaths. Therefore, take this gift. I cannot, I failed. I'll be the judge of that. Take it. A golden net. For what prey? That is for you to discern. If you use it correctly, the forest will grant you its protection. Then I can only thank you with all my heart. Hey, EMP. Talk to the sheep? It's about time someone asked my opinion around here. <laughs> First off, this business with the wool. I mean, just as I've grown it all back, whoosh, off it gets shaved again. Not the le least consideration for how I feel, but it gets worse. If I make the tiniest protest, that big brute Hal threatens to make me, or threatens to make mutton soup out of me. Stoop. Fair frightens me out of, out of my wits, he does. You are talking. Okay, then. Let's go back. We'll change to those. So she gave us a golden net. It's on my other clothes. St. Mary's. Wait, no, no, pub. It's a little hard to click on the uh, <laughs> banners there. All right, don't mind, don't mind me. Shall I pray for your soul? I fought in the Crusades with King Richard. I made my peace with God. Pray as you please, but don't expect favors for it. Thought. I thought I was getting ale. Um, what do you say? We don't, we don't talk to them. I mean, there's a gate. Hmm. How do I, how do I get a drink? What the heck? Okay, fine. Maybe that's the wrong pub. State your business. Is this how you treat one of your brothers? Let me in. I don't know you. How do I know you're one of us? I was here yesterday. Well, I don't know you either. How do I know that you are one of us? Eh? Well, I, of all the... You wait here. I'll fetch Brother Theodore. He knows everyone's face. He'll pick you as real or false real quick. Oh. Um. Let's wait. Aye, so you're the man claiming to be one of us. 
Brothers, sound the alarm, there's an imposter. Oh. I died. But I was in there yesterday. <laughs> How did I get in the first time? <laughs> Did I talk to you yet? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Also, I guess we have to go to the uh, Willows. As she just told me. you are. It is good to see you safe, Robin. How do you know when I seek you? How do you know when I seek you here? It's almost uncanny. It's most uncanny. The willows gather messages for me from all parts of the forest. I know you've been to the monastery. Did the willows tell you a folk? A king's fool? What of them? I rescued them from torture at the hands of the monks. Oh, Robin. I'm very fond of folk. Was he badly hurt? Found him before the strapado had worked much damage. He's gone to the Queen. I'm so glad to hear it. Thanks for saving him. To see your smile, I would brave a hundred torture chambers. Don't say that. Let us speak only of good news and future plans. Well, I have good news. I have your uh, scroll. You are so clever. Now I have a gift of great importance to bestow upon you. A kiss? Robin, cease being a rogue for but a moment and watch closely. Your life and all our plans will depend upon knowing what I will now show you. Um, I'll print screen that. Long ago, the druids divide this hand, devised this hand code. By touching the tip or a part of each finger, the thumb or the palm, you signify a certain letter. In this way, you can spell out words upon your hand. Okay. The letters are branded into my mind. I close my eyes and see them still. Aye, the spell upon the scroll has that power. That is why I had to have it. But let us be sure. Spell out Robin with the hand code. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought they were going to make me do it. Keep the scroll safe. So I may study the code again. Nay, only a priestess such as myself can make the letters appear. But you must give it to the Queen's spy. The Queen has a lady who will teach the hand code to her most trusted knight. It will be that Queen's knight who will receive whatever ransom you have when the time comes. And this Queen's spy? Soon the Saturday fair begins in Nottingham. The Queen's spy will come disguised as a scholar. Amidst, amidst the numerous merchants and vendors from all parts of England, he can mingle more safely. He'll carry a book containing royal coats of arms. Mayhap he will mingle freely enough, but you've said not of how I shall perform this miracle. I would do it myself, but I'll be too closely watched. If you doubt, you can carry out such a difficult task. Little vixen, you prick my pride, knowing full well I'll die of shame before I fail you. And how, pret how prettily you blush, knowing I've caught you out. I keep forgetting you're not like other men. But truly, if it is too dangerous, I won't ask it of you. The prince will also have spies there. Do you think you could keep me away from Nottingham's largest fair? The, an the archery tournament... I was about to say anarchy tournament. The archery tournament alone would draw me in. As the sheriff will expect. I can fool the sheriff. Robin, if you do not meet me in town, we must act as strangers. If you do meet me in town, we must act as strangers. I'll take care uh, not to endanger you. Now, how am I supposed... How am I to find this queen's spy? There could be more than one scholar. 
Aye, and he'll be testing you as well. As a test? When you speak with him, you must ask him to show you the coat of arms of the East Saxons. He'll open his book and show you coat of arms. Coats of arms. You must be sure he shows you the right one. When you see the correct coat of arms, give him the hand scroll at once. And after the fair, shall I meet you here again? Or will you come to my camp and meet my men? Why, I'd like that. I'll come on the night after the fair. I'll watch for you. There's even something... Uh, you... There's something I wish you to do even before then. What? Another task? This is for your own protection. Now that you know the hand code, you must seek out the green man who dwells in the ancient oak. I know the grove and the oak well. You seem most anxious about this. The sheriff has been raising a force of men and threatens to scour the forest clean of outlaws. If you can gain the green man's protection, it could save your life. I'll heed your words and do as you ask. Well. Robin Hood's right hand is small compared to his left. Wait, this is the copy protection puzzle? I already went through one copy protection puzzle. So... Shouldn't be a problem. What is this, 23? Chad and Becky. I think I'm gonna go get a coffee. My throat's hurting. And the coffee is warm. And I think it'll help. I also just need to get up and stretch. Okay, I'm just gonna stand here. I'll be like three minutes. I'm gonna grab a delicious coffee. One second. Actually, hold on. Might as well get uh, the summer with music. There you go. I'll be right back.
All right. I think it's all this, uh, all this dialogue that I'm reading making my throat hurt or feel dry. I'm sure water would have been like a better choice. The coffee is good. Okay. What was I doing? She wants us to go to the fair. I'm pretty sure I just saved, but I don't remember. What? There we go. So is the fair right? I can't go in with this costume. Because the f where, when was the fair? Was it today? I don't think it was today, was it? I got my last light roast coffee. Oh, hello. Look pleased with yourself. I've been with Marion. Ha, that explains it. By the way, the widow begs you to see her. No need. I just went to see her, though. Is she gonna talk to me in this costume? Suppose you must be on some urgent mission, Robin, so I'll not detain you with idle chatter. <laughs> I already talked to you. Oh, we have to go to the tree, I remember now. I forget why, even though she literally just told us. Well, I'll, I'll talk to him. Might as well change. It's probably better to go as Robin. Walk, that's the one. <laughs> I'm debating right now if I want to do uh, Persona 5 after this. Because my throat kind of hurts. And... I'm tired of sitting. My body is sore from Wednesday. I feel like I need to like walk <laughs> instead of sit for four more hours. Talk. Green man, spirit of Sherwood, come forth. I didn't think that would work. We can shoot him. I know I can shoot him. It's not coronavirus. No, literally Wednesday. My body was sore for, since, uh, well, Thursday morning. Because Wednesday I was moving tons of stuff. Moving tons of stuff, lifting heavy things. Stop clicking that button. I keep clicking the wrong button. Kragen got me sick. Dang. Um, hold on. How do we so how do we talk to him? <laughs> Why do I keep clicking that? Like, do the horn? Probably not the horn.
This guy's just gonna come and be mad at me. And call me a child with a toy. Uh, I mean, the scroll said stuff about the tree, the trees. Well, we got the ring on now. Whatever, whatever that does. Oh, trust me, my, th my throat's not sore. It was just like dry, I think, from talking. Like, it, it already feels better after one sip of a liquid. I did run out of my water like two hours ago. <laughs> also, after having strep throat, in January this year. Um, I, nothing can stop me. Nothing is as bad as that. I can, I can handle any, anything after that. Let's read the scroll. With the, that's the hand scroll. Um, okay, this talks about trees. I mean, isn't that, this is the, this is for the box though, isn't it? Hold on. I thought that was for like the box or something. But yeah, I got, if I ever get a sore throat again, I still got Chamomile tea and honey. That's basically what I lived on for like a week in January. I don't I don't recommend getting strep throat. I don't know what I'm doing. Not sure what I'm doing. I feel like I should have listened to her. Listen to her better. I know we have to meet her after the festival. I don't remember when the festival is. Also, isn't this, uh... We also need to, like, know the coat of arms, which... Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not those. We needed to get some alcohol for the person in here. But then the day ended. Now we can't go back in. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. Why did I do that? Yeah, he's gonna go. Okay, we need to just leave. <laughs> sure how to get a drink in the pub. It's not a very good pub. They don't make it they don't make it very easy to get a drink here. Oh, one of the guards is gone. There was three before. Um, okay, we already did that. So, okay, he go he goes over to the bucket. Oh, 
I thought maybe like I could walk behind the counter or something. Castle. Is the sheriff in? He's in no mood. Okay. I'm not sure what to do. Hold on. I have the guide up still. Uh. It's telling me to do stuff in the, <laughs> um, in the, in St. Mary's, but I don't know how to, I can't get back in. Did I mess up? I can't go back in there, and it's telling me to do stuff there. <laughs> uh. Can I sneak in? If I guess rightly, these thick pines are meant to keep out the unwelcome visitors. Okay. I mean, what if I change to the black robed dude? We already got kicked out as him, though. I'm still gonna try, because I don't know what else to do. Thought he was going in. And what do we what do we have? Okay. Same stuff. E five jam. You again, you dis- okay. I don't know how to get in here. I wish I explored more while we were in there. There's this gotta be a way to get, like, it's, it's something to do with that bucket in the pub. And maybe if we get the, uh, the alcohol maybe the lettuce in as the monk no 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 Oh, there's no more guards here. What's this table? A nine men's Morris game. Can I play? <laughs> Are 
I got points. It's a bucket lowered on a rope through a hole in the sandstone roof. Innkeeper, what's the meaning of the lowered bucket? The soldiers lower it from the castle walls with money in it, and I fill it up with ale, which they haul back up. Hmm. I got points. So the soldiers, they put the money down. Send the money down, she sends ale up. Okay. But I can't get in the castle. Unless maybe I can bribe him again. Let's try. Keep your money. They're watching me close these days and I won't stand a chance. Stand an Enox, a Unix chance. Okay, whatever. What about this? Uh, okay. I don't know how to get in. <laughs> I guess I'll try the other costume. I don't know how that would get us in, though. You know what, let me just look at the guide again. Oh, sorry. I have to press escape. Um... Okay, hold on. So the golden net can catch a pixie. We've, we've seen them before. And you, you can give that to the tree. Okay. Well, I know... There's a pixie up here that we've seen. We just wait. There we go. I hear the music. There it is. Net. I got it. First try. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, come on. I clicked directly on top of it. I'm going to try clicking ahead of it this time. Come on. Mmm. At last. Pixie, grant my wish. I wish. No wish. Pixie, no wish. What do you mean? You can't grant, grant wishes? Pixie, no power. Green man, big power. Green man, sleep oak. Dream magic, all forest. Say go. Pixie, take green man. Green man, all wishes. Say go. Very well. Go. All good. Follow. I mean, we know where he is. But okay. I thought we were going to have to go through every screen in between. <laughs> Luckily not. Old Man Oak. Father Tree. Green Man, Green Man. Come and see. I heard my wood child call. So fleshling, you seek me. I am here. Do you rule the forest, Green Man? I am its heart and soul. My will moves from root to root. My thoughts sow in the leaves. Pixie said you grant all wishes. They are acorn imps, foolish and rootless. Wishes are the dream stuff of fleshlings. 
Mine is the power to grant you the protection of the Druid Trees. But my protection is not easily earned. My riddles are perilous. Those who fail my test join the forest and are never more clothed in, clothed, clothed in flesh. Dwell upon that before you speak again. Okay, I think this is the copy protection. No, 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 no. Come back. I'll risk the peril of your riddles. If that is the only way, I may earn your protection. It is the only way, let us begin. What are you? Tongue cleave, speak no more. Legs to wood, toes to rot, deep into the earth you dig. Half man, half tree, only the freedom of your hands I leave thee. If you pass my riddles, I will restore you. If you fail, you'll become a full oak and never walk as a man again. I will pose the riddle. You must spell out the answer in the druid code. I'll begin. My first master has four legs. My second master has two legs. My life I serve... My first I serve in life. My second I serve in death. Cure me and I live beyond my death. Tough I am, yet soft beside. Against ladies' cheeks I soft reside. Okay. So here's what we do is we... Go to the guide, and we just <laughs> follow this because this is copper protection. Um, so my first monster is four legs. First master. So the answer to this one is fur, or skin pelt leather. Okay, so fur is... Can I save here? Nope. Fur is that. You. Are. How do I confirm? <laughs> uh. There we go. Aye, that is the word. Two more riddles you must answer. Here's the next. Okay, metal or bone, I may be. Uh, comb. Actually, I might be able to answer these without the guide. Does metal or bone, I may be. Many teeth I have and always barred. Yet my bite harms no one and ladies delight in my touch. You could probably guess these. Maybe it's not copy protection. I don't know. Uh, comb. Actually, I think the hand. The riddles aren't copy protection, but I think the, the letters for the hand are probably in the manual. But I have a picture here in the guide. <laughs> Final riddle. Not... Okay, let's just click it. Not born from a mother's body drawn. I hang until half of me is gone. I sleep in a cave until I grow old, then valued for my heart and gold. Um. Not born, but from a mother's, mother's body drawn. I'm trying to figure this one out and, uh, before <laughs> looking at the guide. I hang until half of me is gone. I sleep in a cave until I grow old, then valued for my heart and gold. Hmm. I have no idea. <laughs> I tried. Cheese. The answer is cheese, obviously. <laughs> I never would have guessed that. Uh, H is them. E, E, S, E. Yay, we're a real boy again. My oath. It's good to feel my toes astride the earth again. Spoken like a true fleshling. Now heed me. From this moment on, my protection is yours. 
I have laid a spell upon your form and the clothings of your flesh. In this form alone will the trees know you. When danger is upon you, seek out the heart of a grove of druid trees. Only within the grove is the magic powerful enough. Spell out the secret name of the druid trees and they will, they will hide you until the danger is past. But only the true druid name spelled in code will serve. I weary of this man's speech. Farewell. Uh, okay. Well, we've seen some druid trees. Oh, that night I told my men the details of the dangerous mission I must undertake. Yep. Excuse me? <laughs> Out of handles. What? <laughs> oh no, we have to do all that again. The riddles. I hope it's not gonna crash there every time. I really hope it won't. Restore. 24. This is before catching the pixie, I'm pretty sure. going there you go well now we wait Don't run behind the bush, that's cheating. I can't see behind there because I only have 2D vision. Oh my god, that was right on top of it. There we go. Okay. And then it just breaks my net. That was my golden net. You know how much that's worth? Oh. Okay, let's save here. Oh, see you later. Okay, um... This one is cheese. So that is C. H. E. E. S. E. No! How did I click M? Just kill me, I guess. 
Oh, it's giving me another chance? I'm two-faced, but bear only one face. I have no legs, but travel widely. Men spill much blood over me. Kings leave their imprints upon me. I have greatest power within, or greatest power when given away, yet lust for me keeps me locked away. Is that like gold? Money? Uh. Coin. I was right. Sort of. Oh, it says money would work too. Nice. I actually solved one. I'm usually really bad at riddles. C O. I. Where's I? Oh, right there. Two more, because we messed one up. Uh, oh, I already. This one's I, because I spoiled it. I thought it was one I already saw. If, if I realized it was a new one, I would have tried guessing. I. Is this a new one? I am the heart that does not beat. It is new. If cut, I bleed without blood. I can fly but have no wings. I can float but have no fins. I can sing but have no mouth. Um, I don't know. I don't know. This one is wood, apparently. I don't get it, but it's wood. <laughs> okay, W is right there. O, O. D is right there. Okay. Save here. Now please. Please don't run out of handles. Otherwise, oh, you look a trifle glum. Does Marion's task weigh upon you? I'll worry about that when the fair begins. I must also find a way to enter the tournament and avoid Prince, avoid Prince John's spies. No risk is too great for our king. Then why so glum? I'm sure the maid cares for me, and yet. Did you flatter her? Speak of her eyes, her lips, her hair? Take her in your arms and press kisses upon her? There was no simple... This is no simple country girl, or vain strumpet. She has no patience for flattery. Mayhap I should have found some other way to express what was in my heart. The maid does love you. I warrant she will find the way for you. The days to the Saturday fair sped, speed by. Merchants, vendors, and travelers of every description come up from London. Down from York on foot, horse, mule, and carts, and wagons or by boat and barge upon the River Trent. We leave Watling Street alone, having no desire to hinder those going to the fair or stir up trouble with the sheriff, till the time is right. All right. If we're going to the fair, we don't want these clothes. Just do one more save now that we're past <laughs> handles. Out of handles. What ho, lads? You look you all look a trifle glim or glum. Have you forgotten? Today is the Saturday fair. The town will be filled with merchants from all parts of the world. Fine goods. The archery tournament. Good food. How could I forget it? Forget my mission. I must find a safe way to go to the fair today. 
that's what worries you. Of course not. We're wishing we could go. Well, go. You're all clever men. If you can find a means and wish to wish risk your necks, by all means do so. That's all we wanted to hear, Robin. We didn't want to get in your way. Rubbish. Be off with you. Don't get caught. I feel like at least one will get caught. <laughs> they all have to walk away one at, one at a time. Okay. So we obviously don't want to go to the fair in this costume, in this clothing. But let's just see what happens. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, instead of going in with the evil robed man clothes, go with the monk clothes. I feel like I should save again. Twenty-eight. There. That works. So as soon as we see a certain like emblem or whatever, we have to do something. <laughs> and I forget what it was. We got music though. You there. I've seen your face. Oh no, not this guy. Soldiers. <laughs> Arrest him. It's Robin Hood. Are you really gonna trust this guy, soldiers? Okay, so don't go as the monk. Do not go as the monk. Good to know. What does he stand to gain to ratting me out? I don't know. He's just being a jerk. Let's try this again. Okay. Oh, hello. I can only walk. I can't do anything else. So we need to find the scholar. You dare to show your face here, imposter? What? Arrest this false monk. What do you want me to do? I guess we have to find a different costume. <laughs> okay. None of our costumes work. So, that sucks. Okay, well, let's, uh... The way we've gotten both these costumes so far have been from just watching the road. So I'm gonna change back. And we'll, uh, we'll just watch the road. I guess. We'll just, uh, we'll sit here and see if anyone comes by and then steal their clothes. There you go. <laughs> Going chill at the road? That's what I'm doing. I bid you welcome to Sherwood Forest, good yeoman. 
Good day. You're going to Nottingham? Uh, yep, that I am. And from the looks of you, to shoot in the archery tournament. Uh, yep, that I am. You're a man of a few words? Uh, yep. I'd be a simple man of the North Cunt Country. You seem a little afraid. Weren't you warned of the bold outlaw Robin Hood? It is he who stands before you. I fear God and I fear the devil, but I fear not else. Well said, my friend. And if I want a payment from you before you pass along Watling Street, I have not but three pennies to pay my way to town and compete. That's why I go to shoot. The prize is a golden arrow. I mean to win it, for the lass I love uh, canna wed me until her father finds me worthy. But if you seek to rob me, I'll nay stand idly by mark ye that. Do it. I have a need for those clothes you wear. Will you give them to me, or must I test your courage? You'll take nothing from me, outlaw. I'll not warn you again. And I warn ye, don't try to outdraw me. I'm as swift as any man. We killed each other. Okay, that's not the way to do that. <laughs> Guess there's a different way to do that. Different way to get his clothes. Let's do a save here. Like, what do I have? I can, I don't know, give him more money? Just bribe him? I don't know what else I would do. towards him. Accidentally. Stand fast, I'll take no chances with ye, outlaw, for time's a wasting. I have no wish to do ye harm, but if ye not lay down your bow and quiver, I'll loose this arrow. I shall swear to let you pass. Ye shall p let me pass upon my terms. Lay them down, ere me fingers slip. Okay. Stand ye aside, and make no move until I am gone. I mark you well, friend. I'll not play target for your practice today. Road is yours. Um. Did I mess up? I admire a man so bold as to hold me at bay. He's hurried on, but if I'm clever, I can catch him further south upon the street. Okay. So what if I click the south as possible on here? Hello. <laughs> oh, good yeoman. Let us talk again. I have no time for talk. The tournament's today and I daren't miss it. So speak your piece and be quick about it or stand aside. Uh, I don't know what I do. <laughs> what do I do? Like, I can't shoot him. That's not gonna work. I can call my horn. Or do I have to do the druid thing? No, that just said they'll, like, hide me. He talked about things. I 
bribe him? I'll make you a bargain. You see, I have a need to enter Nottingham today, and your clothes would make a fine disguise. Ah, uh, yep, so you could try for that golden arrow for yourself, I reckon. Nay, keep your coins, Al. Wait, my purpose is more urgent than the tournament, though I could indeed put that golden arrow to a greater use than you can guess. You may be a fine archer, but I know the competition, and I say, without slighting, without slighting you, that you stand little chance. Here's what I offer, a purse of silver worth 50 marks and a new suit of clothes in fine Lincoln green. This isn't half worth of the golden arrow, but a respectable sum all the same. In Nottingham, you risk all and likely gain nothing. Here you risk nothing and gain far more than you have now. I'll not sell my bow or arrows. Of course not, my friend. Would I want to shoot uh, with other than my own bow? I'll see that purse of silver first, if you don't mind. Now now that I don't trust ye, but... Or not that I don't trust ye. Haha, gladly, I will oblige. Stand fast while I call my men. Okay, now get him. good yeoman has made uh, a fair bargain with me. Tuck, I've promised him a purse of silver worth 50 marks. 50 marks? For what? Why, for his clothes. We'll bring him a suit of new cloth and fetch back an eye patch for me as well. 50 marks for those clothes? Will, you'll take my own garb and weapons back to my cave. But 50 marks? Come, my penny-counting friar. He does me a service, and he has a fair lass to win to, to win to wife. Bring him the purse and wish him well. Hmm, for fifty marks, she'd best be the most beautiful girl in the Shire. I guess we did it. The eye patch has completed your disguise nicely, Robin. But if you enter the tournament, one eye or two, no man will best me. Escort our friend by the shortest way north through Sherwood. I wager he's eager to find his way home, and to a certain lass as quickly as his feet can carry him. Ah, uh, yep, that I am. God preserve you, outlaw, you be a good man. Kiss the girl once for me. I'll nay do that, but I thank ye all the same. Alright. We will save, of course. We're on, uh, we're on 30. Okay, now we go to the fair. I wonder if, our, I wonder if, like, half our screen will be covered. If we actually have to, like, shoot with the bow. Which we probably will. Also, we're looking for a scholar. Talk to you. I may get. Cl I must get closer if I'm to be heard. There we go. Good day, my lady. Sir, you are most bold. Please step aside. I've heard that the ladies in Nottingham are of unsurpassed beauty. And now I am convinced. Sir, I must ask you again that... Oh. Something wrong, milady? Can it be that we've met before? Oh, I... Nay, it was only that you reminded me of a certain rogue, I know. What? A rogue? You wound me. He's the most foolish rogue who forgets his danger when surrounded by enemies. Okay, that's... That's, uh... Marion. Nay, he never forgets. Saved... Save one dazzled for but a brief moment by a vision of loveliness. And I must say, by all means, be on my way. Okay. That's Marion. We don't talk to her anymore. Who are you? A man selling rugs? It's not really a scholar. Is there any more fair? No. I mean, I 
guess I'll talk to him, though. These fine rugs come from the King's Palace in Daventry, auctioned off for but a fraction of their worth. Why? You can even see the crest of Daventry upon one, and the shield of Lytton on another. And the price? Ten marks for the large, seven marks for the small. Didn't we want... something... from him? How do I know these rugs come from Daventry? Trust me. The crest of Daventry upon one and the shield of Lytton upon another. Didn't we need a crest? Hey, BSD. Wait, who are you? A familiar man. Reminds me of Spielberg. On a bad day. Oh. Can I talk to the child? My da wants me to move up in the world, so I'm gonna be a swineherd when I grow up. Nice. If I stand here long enough, looking needful, perhaps one day the potmonger will design... Or wait, will deign to notice me. Who is the scholar? I don't see anyone who resembles a scholar. Can I talk to the horse? If I could talk, I wouldn't be hauling this cart around. Oh. <laughs> if you could talk. What about you? I want to design games when I grow up. I'd advise you, sir, to take more care with your purse. Oh, a what? Oh, thank you. <laughs> do I even want to buy a rug from this guy? Let's just do it. I couldn't part with such quality rugs for less than my asking price. Oh, I can't even buy one? I don't think I've seen any of those BSD. I mean, I've probably seen the Disney one, but it's been so long. But I don't remember the thing. Wait, can I just look at the rug? What am I, what am I doing here? for a scholar, but... What about you? Are you a scholar? No. Uh... Are you a scholar? Bitty big ears? What about the guy buying the rugs? Oh, I already... Okay. I'm just talking to everyone. What do you carry to fare? A sack. I can see that. What do you have in the sack? Feathers, sir. And right heavy they are. A sack of feathers? How heavy could it be? Well, I had to fill the bottom with stones, didn't I? Why is that? To keep the feathers from floating away. I wish you luck in the world, for you shall surely need it. <laughs> Oof. Am I supposed to be here yet, drug zombie? <laughs> I feel like if a scholar was to walk around in the fair, I've waited long enough and he hasn't showed up. What about you? Oh, he's, uh, lagging. Uh... Wait, wait, what did you say? Armor. Yeah, 
If you saw me before the competition? I don't remember. I don't remember what I had to do. Can I go in St. Mary's in this costume? Oh, everyone's at the fair. Can I go in the castle? <laughs> Probably not. State your business. I'm a fine archer in search of work. Perhaps the sheriff could use me in his service. We'll guarantee a job if we go to the fair and go in the tournament, or win the tournament. Hobbler? Can I look at the cat? Can I pick up the cat? Yeah. <laughs> Take the cat in my inventory like Mystery of the Druids? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I should I, I should have listened to the lady better. That was a long conversation with a lot of info. I don't think waiting here is gonna do anything. You know what? I have a guide. <laughs> Oh, all the people in the fair are like Easter eggs, apparently. Talk to scholars that wander around? Oh, there's one. I never saw you before. How come you didn't show up before, dude? Merry day, Greybeard. Eh? Oh, aye, aye. Merry day to you. I see you carry books. Aye, aye. I'm a scholar, you see. Would you care to buy a book? Every man should own a book once in his life. Perhaps you have a book which shows the coat of arms of East Saxons. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm not sure. I must have a look. Let's see. Ah, would this be the one? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> Yeah, that's the one. That isn't what it says at all, you're making fun of me. Oh. Okay. Can I try again, sir? What? Did I mess up? You wait here, I'll come back with another book. Okay, I guess he's gonna... Just come back. You know what, let's leave and come back. I don't know what the coat of arms looks like that I'm looking for. Also, I don't see him. He's not coming back. Uh... I mean, I wonder if the coat of arms thing is another... 
uh, copy protection. I don't know, I don't know if he's gonna show up again. Oh! Good day to you, learned sir. What does a yeoman want with a scholar? What else save knowledge? There are many forms of knowledge. My penurious friend, speak your mind more clearly. I have a mind to see the coat of arms of the East Saxons. Let me see. Oh, is he? Oh. Could this be it? Uh... Yeah, obviously. Oh, that's not it. Okay. That, that's not it. Can I talk to you again? Probably not. Has your knowledge increased? We shall see. Oh. Is it this one? Yep. Oh, it's not that one, obviously. Is it that one? Yep. Is it that one? Yep. Uh... Okay, it's not that one. We know that for sure. That one, we don't know. Oh! I bid you welcome. <laughs> you swear by the Virgin Mary that you are the Queen's loyal man? I and the King's. Now make haste and deliver what you have for me. Even now our enemies search for us. Okay. You want the scroll. Excellent, I thank you, Yeoman. I have little money with me, but please accept what coins I have. Use them as you see fit. Oh, um... We're going- are we going Renegade or Paragon? Sorry, I'm getting, uh... Minimizing the guide. Get that out of- get that out of here. Do we want the money? Well, we don't need the money. As you wish. I will be in the fair a short time more should you change your mind. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I'll take the money. If I can get ahead of you. Oh. Well, I guess we're not getting it. Um, okay. So we did that. Gave him the scroll. Is that all we're doing here now? Are we done for the day? Probably not. Oops. We're not done for the day. I don't remember what else <clears throat> we're supposed to do. Like, we're supposed to go in the tournament, I guess. But how? Like, is there a way? Is there more stuff up here? There is more stuff. Okay. A man selling swords. Selling furs. Can I even walk down there? No.
I'm just I'm looking for the uh, archery tournament. Who are you, apothecary? Are you archery tournament? Fortune teller. Let's talk the fortune teller. Do I have Little John and Will Scarlet in your party yet? <laughs> oh, I missed what he said. I think we have Will. We do have Will. Two farthings? Okay, a farthing is a quarter. Okay, I can... I can spare. Thank you, sir. Stand still, but a moment while I speak with the spirits. Spirits say danger follows you like a dog nipping at your heels. Easily guessed. I'm an archer, and thus my trade could entail danger. The spirits say you are not what you seem. Vague enough, I've yet to hear my money's worth. Very well, doubting Thomas, I'll not have you mock me. I see a battle in which there is much gold, yet it is not for the gold you fight. I see you in a forest, trapped as wood, trapped as would be a stag surrounded by uh, baying hounds. I see the gallows and a rope around your neck. I see a lady, a beautiful woman with black hair, and there's terrible danger for her very soon. How? What is this danger? Aye, you do not doubt me now. I regret I cannot tell you more, save that it comes from something she greatly fears. Spirits fall silent, I have no more to tell you. Alright. Not sure if that was worth it. Ah, there's the archery. Old yeoman. We've... Yeoman. I don't know how exactly to pronounce that. We've new rules for this tournament. There's an entrance fee of one penny. Pay up or move on. What new larceny is this? The tournament has always been open for new... For all comers without fees. Well, now it's open to all comers with a penny in their hands. Pay up or move on. Isn't that a hole? Yeah. I mean, I have 12 pennies now. I think the scholar gave us some when I talked to him the second time. Who am I, who am I giving it to? You need to pay Roger. Oh, who's Roger? There we go. One penny? I should have saved before this. I can save right now. Thirty-one. Take the center lane. Okay, make make note of the wind. Center lane. Am I shooting it? Split the baddie's arrow. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's the there's the wind flag. We want to go. How? F it's hard to say how far away this is. We want to go right there. Okay, the, it's pretty close. A little closer than I thought. It's decent. I don't know how many I'm shooting here, but... Oh, the wind just changed. I don't, I don't know. That's pretty good. I mean, the first one was bad, but I was getting... 
Oh, the tournament shall now begin. That was a warm-up, I guess. Each archer shall fire three arrows in his rounds. Klim of the Clove shall shoot first. Oh, come on, dude. Well, easy win. Puck of Barnsdale shall now shoot. Oh, I'm Puck. Oh, frame or pixel perfect. Oh my god, literally the same spot. I can't be beaten. I mean, I can't... <laughs> no one can beat me is what I meant. Adam Bell, champion of Not Nottingham, shall now shoot. Champion? Good luck getting better than that. He might have beat me. No, not even close. Never mind. Klim of Clo shall step down. William of Clodisley step forth. Each archer shall fire three arrows in this round. Okay, round two. Wow. Another easy win, I guess. Fuck. One. And the second bullseye, and... Third bullseye. Those were literally the, literally the same spot, all three of them. <laughs> oh, we, we won. As long as the wind doesn't change to like left or right, we're fine. Since it's since the wind's coming towards us, we don't even have to aim really. One arrow shall be fired. Winner shall take all. I guess that's not me. I didn't do that. Adam Bell, champion of Nottingham, has scored a perfect center. Let Puck Barnsdale now fire his final arrow. No, the wind. I think I lost. I don't know how much the wind is. I don't know which pixel to go on. Let's let's go on that one. The wind didn't even do anything, but it split his arrow. <laughs> I did it BSD, I split the arrow. Even though I was way off. The winner is Puck. I have won the golden arrow. Let the winner stand before our exalted sheriff and receive his prize. When I shot the arrow, before it showed the close-up, it looked like I was like way too far to the left. You shoot uncommon well, Puck of Barnsdale. I could use a man such as you in my service. I fear it is a post to which I cannot possibly aspire, Lord Sheriff. Tut, would not a place of honor as my captain be worth far more than a mere golden arrow? I dare say it would to another man. I will seek my honor elsewhere. Here's your prize then. Be off with you, ingrate. I accept this prize with the same grace as it was given. Rubelhood. <laughs> I thought it best to leave the fair at once. I had not pleased the sheriff by rejecting his offer, and there was always the chance he'd send one of his bully boys to reclaim the prize by foul means. Why do I have fewer outlaws now? Because... Seven of them died. We started with 31. I turned the arrow over to Tuck to add to the ransom horde and joined my men for a cheerful feast. We had 31, seven of them died, but we gained three on the same expedition. I watched the tournament from the crowd, Robin. Never have I seen you shoot better. That golden arrow is a fine addition to the ransom price. Oh, we got 10,300 in the ransom now. How could I fail when the king's life is at stake, and my own pride as well? I guarantee that the ballad I write about this... about this deed will outlast me. 
For once, Alan, I'll not argue with you. Men will tell and retell the story of the one-eyed archer who fooled the sheriff and won the prize. What? You agree with me? Tuck, quickly, mix a potion. The man is ill. Pleased as I am with today's work, it's not enough. What if the treasure isn't sent from York as planned? I must find other means to raise more ransom in case the worst should befall. There's another place to look for riches, the sheriff's own coffers. Now there's a bold new idea to reckon with. I'll think upon it. Okay. This seems like a good place to stop for today. We got the first big uh, ransom prize. 30... Yeah, so, hopefully next time we can finish, but it might take two more sessions. We'll see.